we are live we are live are we live right now are we live right now are we good Is i think we chilling? are everything good i would love to check if i could <laughs> but <laughs> i can't you want me to go check if we are i'm okay. trying to post <clears throat> on instagram i'm so sorry I'm gonna get some music up for you guys. Let's see. Is there music playing? There we go. It's a little bit loud. Let's put it down here. Let's put it down here. All right. How are you guys doing tonight? Let's see, let's do this. Let's go all the way down. Let's get one of our first few cahoots. Natasha is currently posting on the Instagram. Oh, I forgot my glasses. Yeah, I'm trying to post on Instagram the, the stuff <clears throat> so that more can join. Alright, there we go. We're at the bottom of her quizzes. Okay. Let me set up the bot while I'm at it too. Actually, the CPU usage is very high, so we're not going to do that. I wonder why the CPU usage is so high today. Okay, here we go. Posting. <clears throat> Thank you. Now I can check if we are actually live or what the heck is going on because there doesn't seem to be many people here today at all. Let's see. Oh, Hydro. Uh, there we go, Hydro. What's good, bro? How you doing, man? Hey. How's your night going? I cannot see the chat at all. Well, no I chat see, for you. Uh, who's that? Pokey. We got Pokey K-pop. Ooh, Pokey K-pop. What's good, Welcome, Pokey K-pop? How you doing tonight? Let's move this a little bit then. Let's see if we can... Maybe we move the camera a little bit. You can actually see the chat better. It's okay. Once it's on, like lower, I'll be able to see. Okay. Can you see now? Yeah, mm. I can see. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Okay. Doing fine. We're chilling, man. We're chilling. A little bit tired. A little bit tired. It's been a. It's been a long weekend. It's been a long, long day. It has been a long weekend, but we're excited because uh, lots of good things are ahead. You know, what we can so, actually do to what? make things easier. We can go like this. And then we can go oh, like, move that one over here. Like that. Look at that money. Oh, chilling. I like it. Chilling, chilling. I like it. Well, put the uh, game night code so that those right, who want to join. Which one do join... we do? Do we? I'm gonna pick one at random. We're gonna go for this one right here. Okay, go for it. April or uh, October fourth. I hope it's not any of the ones that we've made mistakes on. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, there we go. And that's awesome, Hydro. Thank you, man. Heck yeah. By the way, guys, if it looks weird or if um, it looks off, it's because um, Streamlabs, no, yeah, Streamlabs updated. So it had to resize the entire window. Interesting. So maybe actually, maybe if I move this up, there we go. I think that looks better, right? Yeah, that looks okay. That's I think fine. that's better. I think that way you guys can see everything. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the first questions or not. Yeah, well, we are excited to give away these cards, man. Look at this. This is what we got from our Silverlands yeah. Jet Black Poltergeist. Opening, yep. We got the VMAX Ice Horse, uh, the Calyrex uh, Ice Rider VMAX, and the Santa Conda VMAX. So these are cards that are going to get released here in, well, the rest of the world, actually, in June 18th in Chilling Rain. But we got them from Silverland, so we want to give them away to you guys. I know Japanese cards are a little bit hard to come by. So, how you enter Hydro is you go to Kahoot.it or you download the Kahoot app, which is free, and then you put this pin number yeah, and, and you're entering into the quiz. And then if you win the quiz, you get to choose one of the cards to take home. And if you don't want cards, we have a bunch of code cards. Actually, I don't think these are the code cards that we have. We have other code cards somewhere else. We do have a bundle of code cards, as you can see, uh, for us to give you guys. Yeah, how so, exciting yeah and then if you have not <clears throat> subscribed to the fuego fam we're giving away an etv of battle styles yeah make sure to subscribe guys make sure you to subscribe so you guys can enter into that all you have to do is go to our latest video 
click on the link in the description comment has a photo of on that the video that link takes you to and you're entered yeah that is it that is all you have to do yeah not too bad yeah so uh are there any sports games going on today no i know there's hockey today is the last day of uh, nba season nba yeah there's the last day of the nba season and playoffs start next weekend oh so yeah. who's in the running to be in the playoffs well, I mean, they're pretty much already closed out. Um, like, there's only a couple of matches that are missing tonight to determine the last couple of teams. Hmm. But everybody's looking at the 76ers and uh, the Brooklyn Nets. Those are, like, the big two. Okay. And I think the Jazz in, surprisingly, the Jazz in the West. Brad is so cute. You have nothing to be sorry about, Yeah, you haven't Brad. missed anything, Brad. You're chilling. We just You're chilling. started, man. By the way, guys, if you guys haven't yet, please make sure to leave a like on the stream. It really does help out the channel quite a and bit. And share it to your friends so that more can join. Yeah, guys. The faster you guys share this to friends, the faster we'll hit 700. The faster we'll give away that ETB. Yo, thank you so much, ASX, dude. It means a lot, bro. Thank you. Thank Aww, you. Thank you, it, ASX. It's been a, a really busy day, so I haven't gotten um, up to responding to everybody yet. Um, in the comments on YouTube and on Instagram, but I really do appreciate you guys, man. I, it's something like it's an experience that I really wanted to to share with everybody here because you guys have pretty much been like a huge part of my life for the past year almost. It would yeah, make a year it and a has month. Been a year, right? Yeah. So. Oh, and thanks, Captain. Yeah, thank for you, Captain. By. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much for coming in here and hitting the like button, dude. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. You have a blessed night. You have a blessed night. But yeah, it's a slow night. Look at this. Everybody left. We had hydro. <laughs> We have Brad. No, they're back. They're back. <laughs> You're good, Hydro. You're good, bro. Thank oh, you. We appreciate thank it, you, man. Hydro. That's so sweet, man. We appreciate it, man. We appreciate it. All right. We're, we're missing a, a few peeps. Yeah, we'll start at 8.15, though. Yeah, 8.15. 8.15 is usually And then time. it'll be a battle between Hydro and Brad. Yeah. I mean, you guys have a 50-50 chance of winning at that point. Yeah, pretty much. And we are... Um, recycling this quiz from earlier yeah so what we've decided to do is since um a lot of you guys are new to the channel and we've been doing these game nights for about like nine ten months now uh we're gonna start using some quizzes from like when we first started doing game nights there are like really really hard quizzes yeah and um let's see how you guys can fare with those if you guys are new uh, or if you guys are older like some of our older subscribers like asx and whatnot you guys might already know a lot of these questions so uh, yeah, but it, it's fun. Um, Hydro, pretty much the way it works is once the quiz starts, there's going to be questions popping up. Actually, I think this might be a little bit oversized. Like, I was cutting up the edge here. Let me try to fix it real quick. I don't know why Streamlabs had to... Okay, I think that might be good. No, because, I mean, it's cutting out here. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, because it has. it doesn't show the two. Where? The oh, left. the two on the left. Yeah, I'm trying to resize everything because yeah. Streamlabs had to go up and, you know, fix their stuff today. Yes, it's still... Wow, it's a lot to cut out. That's crazy. Can't believe Streamlabs is doing that there to me. Okay, there we go. I think that's fine. There we go. So, pretty much, we'll, once we click start Hydro, um, questions are going to come up. It's going to be 20 questions. Every five is going to be double points. And, essentially, uh, if you answer the question, you're going to get points if you get it right. The faster you answer, the more points you will get. I think it's up to 1,000 points um, per normal question, up to 2,000 per double points question. And whoever has the most points at the end will win. And if you win, you get your choice of one of these two cards or you get up to five code cards. Yeah. So, okay, Hydro. Yeah, I think um, you might need to use another device. Yeah, I mean, Hyd uh, Hydro, I don't know if you have a Switch or if you have um, a TV or a laptop that you can put the stream on so you can play through your phone because it has happened to people before where if you're switching apps back and forth it might kick you out of the kahoot quiz and you will have like your score fully reset yeah what's good justin how's your night going bro or your day should i say in the other side of the world justin how you doing my man i'm gonna try and uh promote it more a little bit on instagram it's all good it's all good. <laughs> Brad is like, no one else join. Yeah, it's a slow night. Yeah, bro, it's a Sunday night. Maybe the peeps are all out, chilling, you know, living it up on a Sunday. Yeah. Or maybe people don't care about game nights anymore. You I think know. it's been a while. Like, maybe... Maybe we need to switch it up. 
Yeah, I think it's time to switch it up. <clears throat> yeah, it's time to, to switch it up. Maybe we need to come up with a new idea, something else to do on our Sunday nights instead of the game nights because people seem to be getting bored. I do need Victor to show up so we can thank him for making the other quiz. So the questions are going to show on our screen, Hydro, and then... That's why, like, you, I think you do need two devices because one would be to see the screen and the other would be to answer yeah. the questions. Yeah, so essentially the, the screen that you're in right now, so the live stream screen, is going to show the questions with the answers and then the app or the website will just show the colors of the answers, not the answers themselves. Hydro. Justin says, huge congrats on graduating. Thank you, man. I really do appreciate it. It does mean a lot. It, it's been a, a long time coming. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Brad says, "Keep the quizzes." Keep the quizzes. It, it, we have a lot of fun with these quiz nights, but like I don't know, like it just seems that like people are not that interested in it anymore. Yeah. Maybe we can do like a monthly thing, like once a month we'll do a quiz night, and that way like yeah. it revitalizes. Yeah, we could do that, and then maybe do something that incorporates like other people, like Scriblio. Ooh, Scriblio. Yeah, that would we be so that. like 151 Pokemon. Yeah. And try and figure out. That would be a lot of fun. We can do something like that. Yeah. That would be super cool. But, so I guess we'll just do, uh, let's see the turnout. And then we'll do this yeah, game. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, night. And have like a, a battle against uh, Hydro says that he, Fred. You never know, man. You never know, Hydro. Um, we have had a lot of people win on their first game night. So... Yeah, you won't and you know, know what, you Hydro, if you have Instagram or you can send us an email, we'll send you a code card for PTCGO if you play. Yeah, if you play, uh, we'll send you a code card just for, for hanging around and playing with us. We'll send you a code card for TCGO. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> it's sex coming into the other account, too. That's the OG ASX account. Oh, that's so nice. That's the OG. That, that's the one that ASX like, like started like you know hanging out with us. That, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that's the account that like his first ever comment was to add him on uh, TCGO. Oh. I'm pretty sure it was something along those lines. I wonder, ASX has yet to tell us what ASX means. It's ASX the card game, obviously. <laughs> ASX the card game. No, bro. Yeah, I play. Okay, good. Yeah, this is the OG account. Heck yeah. ASX Shining Face 11. Dude, dude, talk oh, about SF, yeah. Because it says SF there, ASX yeah, SF. Yeah, but he knew beforehand because that, that account was before, way before Shiny Face got even announced. Yeah. He's I've got insider information. <laughs> no, for, for real, actually relating to, to something Fates related. Spoiler for Wednesday because we haven't made videos in like a week. So, you know, to try to catch up in, in videos and try to make the videos worthwhile, make them good and bangers. We actually have a couple of tins of Hidden Fates, so we're going to be opening up one this week and one probably next week hunting for that Charizard. We haven't opened up Hidden Fates since, what, our third video in the channel, fourth video in the channel. So it's been a good year since we last opened up Hidden Fates, guys. A good year since we last opened up Hidden Fates. You actually new to the game, like you're, you're new to Pokemon in general, Hydro. I mean, um, I don't know what this quiz specifically has because we just picked out one of our older quizzes at um, at random. But for the most part, the quizzes are very evenly spread out between Pokemon the series, Pokemon the video games, and Pokemon the TCG. Wow, so, Justin has twenty four hidden fates. That's nuts, man. When are you gonna When are you gonna open them all? You're planning on opening them up. That's pretty nuts, dude. Yeah, we, we got two. We got two. Yeah, he's, he's offering if, if, if we want more, so. I just wish that the shipping wasn't yeah, so Yeah, the shipping expensive. wasn't so expensive. Because we got them at a pretty high price, not going to lie. We got them at, uh, what, $60 each? Yeah. $60 each when they normally retail for like $20, $25. Oh, so. for real? I didn't even know that. Yeah, normally retail for $20, $25. That, that's the price on Hidden Fates right now. It's, it's pretty nuts Um, how much it spiked. But... But yeah, dude, honestly, if the shipping is not bad, we, we definitely need to get in talks, dude. I mean, the shipping would be like about 20 bucks. Total? Or... Per tin. I think, per, like, it's, it's a little expensive. I know, because the tins are not expensive. Well, this is full, but tins are normally <laughs> not expensive. Yeah. You're like, this, 
heavy tin. Yeah, we have a tin full of <laughs> uh, sleeves. Yeah, sleeves. So it's a little heavy. Yeah, Brad, what's up? It's honestly not exciting what ASX stands for. Dude, but you haven't told us. It's still a mystery, and that's what makes it exciting. It's mysterious. You want to wait like four more minutes? It started at 8.20 to give a little, uh, yeah, a few more people a chance. It's taking three. The rest are being sold. If you want some, I'll hook you up the best I can. Oh, oh that's dude, so sweet, man. We really appreciate that, man. That would be, that would be amazing. Yeah, I mean, if you could like check on the shipping for, you know, that would be great. Yeah. That would be great. We just don't want it to like... Honestly, it's one of those things where I would love to do like a box break of, of Hidden Fates. And instead of selling, you know, the packs at like $15 a pack, mm -hmm. sell them at like, you know, like 6 $7 a pack. Oh, yeah. Like if, if we can like find a way for us to get the product for close to retail as possible, uh, even if we lose like 10 15 bucks, I would love to like just to give that back because... Hidden Fates is like the best set to yeah, open. Yeah, it like, is. It is. And we're really excited about that. Yeah. Yeah. No offense, but how do you have like 10, 20, and then, and like 620 Dude, subscribers? Dude, so Brad, actually, um, it's kind of crazy that you say that because 10 to 20 viewers for 625 subscribers is actually a pretty high number. Like, we know people in the community that have less viewers than we do, and they have over 10 times the amount of subscribers than we have. Yeah. So I think it's just the live. The live aspect is a little tough to kind of get people to sit down at a certain time. Yeah. Yeah. But I also feel like our game nights are, are not, um, you know, it's been about eight it, months. Yeah, like they've lost the magic that they used to have. They, yeah. They've definitely lost the magic that they used so to have. So we need to do something a little bit more exciting. Yeah, I wanted to switch it up a bit more, get get a little bit crazier with the, with the content. Um, what do you think is better? A full art V... A GX, an EX, or a Mega Pokemon, or a Full Art Trainer. So, if you're talking from a monetary perspective, for the most part, Full Art Trainers tend to be the most expensive. Especially if they are female Full Art Trainers. The Pokemon community has this thing where the Pokemon waifus, quote-unquote, tend to always skyrocket in price. So, Full Art Trainers tend to be the most expensive. Uh, now, when it comes to GX, EX, or uh, Megas... Um, I think these are the most relevant right now because they're the ones that are still getting printed. But GXs, EXs, and Megas are not getting printed ever again to our knowledge, um, Hydro. So if you have any cool GX, EX, or Mega Pokemon, I would definitely hold on to them 100%. That's so sweet. Justin says that he doesn't play, but he likes to come and hang out. Yeah, most of the time it's just us chatting. It's just hanging out. It's, it's, it's a That's big hangout. That's the best part. Yeah. The best part is to like just talk to our friends because since we can't hang out face to face, this is the next best thing. Yeah, maybe once we get a bigger place because, you know, maybe we're going to be moving soon to a bigger place. <laughs> Natasha can get herself a PC and we can run like, you know, like Pokeballers channel, like the main channel and then Pokeballers gaming channel. That's And we can much, do man. like streams where we're both playing games. <laughs> Um, with people like fishing for Pokemon and Ushi and you guys and stuff. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know if I get PC. 11 second delays is bad. Really, is the delay that bad? I mean, my PC is running really slow today. I need to clear a lot of stuff to yeah to make it run better. But anyway, it's about to be 8:20. So if you guys are gonna play, uh, make sure to jump in right now because now we're only gonna have two peeps running it. We're only gonna have two peeps running it. Be Brad versus ASX. Yeah, Brad versus ASX. Hola, papá, ¿cómo todo? Hola, Juan. Yeah, well, we're going to have to run it with just Brad and ASX, guys. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, a, it's a slow night. It's a very slow night. Yeah, but it's okay. We got, we got the cool peeps here. Yeah. We got Justin. We got Brad. We got Hydro. We got ASX. We got my dad. Heck, yeah. Yeah. So we need in life. <laughs> oh, no, Hydro is on now. All right. Let's so we're lock not, it in. Let's lock it in. We're, look at that. Exits. We're even locking it so nobody else can play, guys. You guys have a one-third chance of winning, guys. This is from October 4th. Yeah, October 4th. All right. Okay. In Gen 2, which Pokemon does Misty always carry around? Oh, wow. That's easy. This is an easy quiz. Oh, so I'm guessing this is your quiz. This is one of the quiz <laughs> that you made. Yeah. So, Hydro, if you know anything about Pokemon, not even related to the card game, you will be fine. In Gen 2, which Pokemon does Misty always carry around? Is it Staryu, Togepi, Larvitar, or Poliwag? Ooh, 
What do you think it is? <laughs> oh, me? I don't know. It's probably this one. That's wrong. It's not that one. Oh, no. Which one is it? Hola, Rosa. Hola, mamá. ¿Cómo todo? Which one is it? Um, it is... Well, I can't give it away. Just point to it. Yeah, it's yeah. that one. Yeah. Oh, I'm tired. Guys, I start my first day of work tomorrow. Yeah, okay, that's Brad's favorite Pokemon, Poliwagon. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I have nothing really, like, a lot to say tonight. Yeah, man, it's been a long day. Like, we're, we're both really tired. And tomorrow I have to wake up at 6 in the morning, which is not the usual for me. I, I like to sleep in. So. <laughs> yeah. Justice Lavis, what's good, Justice? Hi, Justice. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, if you want, you can play this game. Can I unlock it? Yeah, you can unlock it. Ooh, there you I go. can you unlock can put it. In that Look pin. at that. Togepi is the right answer. Only two peepers answered. Oh, Hydro. Maybe Hydro's having connection issues. Probably. With the switching back and forth. Yeah. So we got ASX in first place and Brett in second place with Hydro in third. Let's see if Hydro comes back in. Maybe he's having issues. Maybe Justice wants to play. Yeah, possibly. Do we go to the next question? Yeah, let's do the next one. Oh, by the way, uh, Justice, if you do want to play, all you have to do is go to Kahoot.it or um, download the Kahoot app and put in this code right here that's in the bottom of the screen. Hey, Justice wants to play. Heck yeah. And then these are the... Prices for the night. Heck yeah. yeah. Hey, Thanu. No worries, What's good, man. What's good, Thanu? How's hey. your night going, man? Uh, and yeah, dude, ASX is crazy, man. It's honestly a blessing to to have gotten oh. a job so far, uh, so um, soon after college, man. It, it's honestly a, a blessing. Look at what Justin, what Michelle said to me this uh, other day. Did you show Pokeballers the wedding venue? And I was saying they're hoping to come, and she's really hoping you can both come we're, too. We're, we're definitely gonna be there, dude. Yeah, we're, we're already we're, planning for yeah, it. Like, like now, like the the big question was me finding a job. Um, and now that I already have the job, that I start working soon. We're gonna um, save up. If everything goes well, we we will be there, man. Definitely, a hundred percent. That's gonna be so exciting. It is. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh my goodness! I can't believe we're okay, going there we to go. Australia. Okay, we got just joined. How long is that flight? It's gonna be a full day travel. More more than a day's travel. Am I gonna feel it? Am I gonna? Oh like... yeah, yeah. And your body clock is gonna be completely effed up, like completely. Really? Yeah. An advisor told the Pokemon Company to remove the Mister from Mister Mime before the first game series. True or false? I'm a little scared. Like I hate flying. Is there? Do people like take it's, something? It's like uh like the first flight. I'm pretty sure it's like a 19 hour flight, 20 hour flight. But like, do you go to like California? Uh, from what I know. You stop in either China or Japan or something like that. Like, it's weird. Oh, my gosh. We're going to stop in China? Yeah, but you stop for, like, a few hours, and then you go to the next flight. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I know to LA, it's 18 hours <gasps> to Sydney. And LA is the complete opposite coast. It's six it, hours. It's six hours, yeah. So, it's going to be, like, easily, like, a 30-hour flight for us. Like, a 30-hour oh, trip. no. Yeah. Oh, no. It's, it's going to be, like, a 30-hour oh, trip. Oh, no. That's so far. Yeah. It's so long. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, actually, I remember um, looking up this question. So, an advisor to the Pokemon company to remove the Mr. from Mr. Mime before the first game series. So, this was, uh, this was actually the English translator mm -hmm. told the Pokemon company to remove the Mr. from Mr. Mime because he's like, in, first, in Gen 1, Pokemon didn't have genders. Mm. Now, after Gen 2, po all Pokemon had genders so they could breed. Yeah. So, he's like, look, if in the future you guys want to add genders, that way you guys are not locked for Mr. Mime always being male, like 100% male. And you guys can have a Mr. and a Mrs. Mime. Mm -hmm. And the Pokemon company didn't listen to him because they said that they weren't going to add genders. And flash forward a couple of years, they added genders to everything. So, yeah. That wow. was a pretty, pretty cool question. Oh, there we go. Justin's catching up. Oh, Justin catching says, oh, damn, that's a long flight. I'll do my best to make it worth it. <laughs> no, it's 100% going to be worth yeah, it. it just, just getting to meet you guys in person is going to be crazy. Yeah, and then we're going to see kangaroos. We're going to see kangaroos for sure. Oh, Dude, man. you definitely have to tell us, like, what things to do around there so we can, you know, like, make, make the, the fullest out of the entire trip. Yeah, like, are, there like, all the places. are there, like, a thousand ways to die in Australia? Like, like, huge spiders, like, this big? I've seen YouTube videos with, like, Huge spiders like that, just like chilling, walking on the wall. Which of these Pokemon cannot evolve unless it's female? I, w I would literally pass out if I see a spider that big. 
No, the the one that I saw, which, which like again, this is like like hyperbole. This is all like hyperbole of like Australia. But there was this video of this guy that he goes to the bathroom, you know, to relieve himself, and a snake just crawls up the toilet. Justin, is that a thing? <laughs> is that a thing? We just oh, Pokemon can rub off unless it's female. Oh man, that's so crazy! I can't believe it. We're going. <laughs> It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, like two weeks, I think, would be to go all the way over there. I'm gonna go two weeks to Australia. Can I take off two weeks to go to Australia? Yeah, you have a month off. Or you have three weeks vacation. Yeah. I don't know if I can take it all in, in two weeks. Yeah, people go all like that. Yeah, that'll be fine. So it is combi. All combis that are female can evolve into Vespiquen, but no male combis can evolve. Hey, Dane. No worries, man. You have nothing to be You're apologetic chilling, bro. for. By the way, Dane, I did read your comment. Congrats on graduating as well, dude. I know you told me that you graduated last week in the, the comment on today's video. Oh, I actually graduated last week, too. Uh, so what university did you graduate from? Because I graduated at UCF last Thursday, May 6th. So maybe you graduated like from like a, a university like around each other or something like that. That would be pretty cool. But, oh yeah, I just haven't gotten around to uh, to responding to everybody's comments today. It's been a really busy day. I start work, my first day of work tomorrow. They're preparing everything for that. Uh, yeah, it does happen. Not where I live, though. But uh, no, the out, front... uh, out the front of my house, I've got a few of the deadliest spiders. Ooh. What? Justin, don't tell me that, man. Don't tell me that. That's so nice. nice. So, what do you do? You put like a bug spray? Is there a bug spray to ward off those deadly spiders? I don't know, Kuru. I've never dealt with deadly spiders. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness and then then said uh dane he's like oh yeah L lewis university is a catholic institution Ooh, that's pretty cool Where, where's that located at if you don't mind uh disclosing that information it's completely up to you but that's but, cool yeah, that's pretty cool man congrats to you on and that and what well, did you study yeah dane? what did you study dude that's pretty awesome nah i just leave them <laughs> just leave them. yeah like spiders are um animals that don't really mess with you unless you mess with them like they don't have any instinct to go attack you oh man one time in my classroom so I have a hole in my ceiling in my classroom and I'm there teaching, you know, and the kids are whatever. And then all of a sudden I see a movement, right? Like a big black movement on my, on my ceiling. And it was a tarantula. We all left the classroom because the kids were looking at me like if I could do something. And I'm like, I can't do anything. We're <laughs> all just going to go. I'll call. And then like it disappeared. Oh, that was a year and a half ago already. <sighs> that was horrible. Oh, there we go. So the move curse has a different effect for Pokemon of the type Ghost. Everybody else, I think you get like a speed boost or something like that, like a race speed. Uh, with Ghost, you take half your health away, but the opponent takes damage at the end of every turn. There we go. Dane joined Dane. Look at that. Awesome. Coming in already for the kill. So Yay, Dane says, Hydro. we'll say that it's in Illinois. Computer science was my major. Hey, that's pretty cool, dude. Com wow, CS, you must big props be to you, bro. Very smart guy. That's a tough major. Big props to you, man. Honestly, that's that's nuts. I did mechanical engineering and I had a pain with it. So you doing CS is unbelievable, bro. Congrats and best of luck to you getting a job or if you already have a job, man. That's yeah. awesome. Hydro is back. Welcome back, Hydro. We're only like four questions in, so you haven't missed out on too much, Hydro. You can still come in. And win if you get all of them right. So now first double points question of the night, guys. By the way, let me go back on the prizes. The prizes for tonight are a Japanese uh, Ice Rider Calyrex V Max from Chilling Rain soon to come, and a Japanese Sanda Conda V Max, guys. Those are the two prizes for the night. And the question is, what is Ash's mom's name? What is her name? So. I got to go around when, uh, where Sydney Harbor is, where our zoo is. The Blue Mountains, uh, the big tourist spot. Ooh, it'll be cold, uh, cold but uh, some of our big beaches. Ooh, heck yeah, dude. Wow. I'm down. I'm so down, man. I love traveling. I love traveling. Wow. And I love trying new food, dude. So, like, honestly, like, the, the biggest place that, that I want you to take me is whatever you think the best restaurant there is, we, we need to go there, dude. We need to go to, like, a, like a you know, like good food. Especially if you guys have, like, good, like, junk food, too. Ooh. Oh man, Ooh. that's gonna be quite the adventure. Ooh. You know, I want to go to the zoo where uh, Bindi Irwin is. Yeah, that's, I was thinking of that too. Is that the zoo uh, that that I wonder if that's the one that he's talking about? Maybe the one in Sydney. Yeah. Yeah, because I would love to because that like I mean that family is internationally known. Yeah. You know, so I would love to like visit the zoo that he was at. That'd be great. 
Then it says, uh, Love Sandaconda. It's a very unique Pokemon. It is. It is. It's a very, very cool looking Pokemon. It's a very nice card as well. I don't know if you've seen the alternate art that was in this set, um, Dane. But it's Sandaconda chilling next to a heater, which is really cool. Like, I, I like the fact that Pokemon is going out of their way to make cards like that. It is very, very awesome. So, right now in first place, we got ASX. <laughs> then we got Justice and Dane rapidly catching up. And Brad, what's going on, Brad? Brad is asking Justin, is there fries? <laughs> and then, oh, so it's in Queensland. It's another state. Okay. How many states are there in Australia? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Do you guys call them states or do you guys call them provinces? Because for us, like in, in the US, they're states, obviously. But in Canada, they call them provinces. And in Spain, they're called provinces too. So I don't know if in Australia, they follow states or provinces. That'd be interesting. So it's kind of like the same setup as uh, the US. Yeah. Yeah, they have states and yeah, it's the same mm -hmm. setup as the US. Yeah. But to my knowledge, the only countries that more or less like follow that set, at least here, um, are the US and Mexico. Mexico is called the United States of Mexico as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Thano got it right. Ooh. Thano, join in, bro. Hop yeah, in right here. Bro. Use this code to come you can in. get a free, uh, free Pokemon card. Yeah, man. Uh, Dane says, uh, yeah, I saw the alternate. I would love to try and get one. Dude, I'm hoping that they release them uh, kind of like how they did in in Japan. Because in Japan, to get the Sandaconda or the Celebi, you had to go to a local card shop and buy two boxes of the same set. Whether it was Jet Black, Poltergeist, you would get the Celebi. Or Silverlands, you would get the, the Sandaconda. Hmm. So, I hope they do something like that in the US. Where like, if you buy two boxes, you get one of the two. Yeah. Or, yeah, or maybe you get both or something like that. I think that would be a very, very cool way to distribute those cards in the US. I don't know, but I'll try to... You, you got it, Hydro. I believe in you, dude. And if not, there's a whole other quiz coming right after this one, dude. So you, don't worry. You're chilling. We've got states and territories. Okay, oh, six so states and two territories. like the U.S. Because U.S. has a couple territories. Yeah. The yeah. Virgin Islands and uh, Puerto Rico and stuff. Yeah. Wow. That That's is pretty so cool. cool. That's pretty cool. And how many hours does it take to go from one end to the, the other end? I mean, Australia is huge. Is it as big as the U.S.? It's, I'm pretty sure if it's not the biggest island is one of the biggest i think it's either australia or greenland i'm gonna be making a fool of myself right now but in australia or greenland that's is the an interesting island. uh thing to talk like to to know like the biggest island in the world it's either australia or greenland it's one of those two 100 percent for sure well yeah but i would think australia is bigger i don't know man greenland. have you seen greenland greenland doesn't fit in a map it's huge see you have the world map oh is the, the things are covering greenland right now yeah i can't see it but yeah <laughs> shall we look it up on the stream no i think australia is the size of the u.s it looks like it in the map in the back i'm not sure how long it takes from where i live it's a four-hour flight hydro okay. saying yes oh hydro got it right heck yeah hydro there we go see you got it dude you got it hold up i'm, I'm really like you know i want to i want to verify this information the this. biggest island biggest island in the world greenland what's up what's up look at what? that look at my look at my knowledge wow look at my knowledge who would have thought yeah i did i would have thought yeah i You're know my so geography smart. i know my geography what's up peepers look at that yeah you do i know my geography professional geographyist right here to get the state above or below uh, me it takes 12 hours to drive oh that's like getting out of florida getting out of florida is about 10 hours from miami to Huh. To the actually, from the Keys all the way to Tallahassee is probably like twelve hours. Yeah, that's nuts. Oh my gosh. Anyway, ASX is still in first place. Dane with a streak of four, moving up to second place already. Even though he came in three questions late or two questions late, we got Brad moving up over Justice, and then Hydro with his first question rather than I. Heck yeah, Hydro. That's what we like to see, keeping it competitive. Rock Pokemon usually fall into which of these types in the TCG? Victor! <laughs> geographist. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's my profession, dude. I'm a professional geographist. Right after my professional League of Legends career ends, I'm going to become a professional geographist. It's funny. So when we were in the in the middle school together, because we went to the same middle school, we, we were never apart. met. Yeah, we never met. But we um we were both part of the geography B. Yeah, the geography <laughs> bowl thing that they had or whatever. It was a geography B. No, for me they call it geography bowl. Like the Super Bowl. It oh. was a geography bowl. Well for me it was the B. Whatever. And we both won. We both won, yeah. With our respective classes. So 
yeah. yeah and then i remember telling like so there was this kid I, I think his name was like ralph and i'm there like ralph don't forget the land of the trees or the whatever country of the trees is lebanon i think yeah and, because they have a tree as their thing yeah so, so i'm like don't forget and then that was a question because we, we made it to like the state or whatever or whatever the next level was yeah and that was an actual question and we both looked at each other and we started laughing <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny. Juan's an engineer, esports athlete, and geographyist. There we go. See, I have lived a full life. I have, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm, I don't want to toot my own horn, but you know, I, I know my geography, bro. I might I not be know. the, I might not be the best League of Legends player, but I do know my geography, man. <laughs> nah, I think honestly, um, if you guys are, I, I want to say, if you guys are from another country than the u.s for the most part um because the u.s like they follow like pretty much their own sports a lot but you're from a country that follows like very international sports like soccer and stuff like that or rugby you get to know a lot yeah more. just by like like following those countries following players from like different countries even you know playing stuff like fifa and stuff like that like you you start developing like an innate sense of okay like i'm tying in this country to this guy or this country to this flag and you kind of like start like knowing a lot more about the world and like if you get FIFA interested toxic FIFA is a very toxic game. <laughs> like, not gonna lie, League of Legends is up there. Like, I, I, a lot of people did tell me that League of Legends was a very, very toxic game. And I have gotten very toxic in League of Legends. Uh, Victor is a uh, number one witness to this. I have gotten very, I thought very you've toxic. tried to, like, be... You haven't been more, like, downplaying your anger? What do you mean? No, no, no. I get pissed. I get freaking angry. Wait, he has seen you angry? He has, he has and seen me. And he's still here? Yeah. No, but he... Like, <laughs> I, I don't rage... I don't rage in League of Legends like I rage in FIFA, dude. Like... Like, you guys need to understand that FIFA is just a different level of rage for me. But in League of Legends, I get toxic. I, I get very, very toxic. Even Victor was like, dude, like, you're being really toxic. And I was like, yeah, I know. I'm being really toxic. But FIFA is just a different world. But anyway, ASX in first place. Danny is about to catch up. And then we got Brad in third. Justice in fourth. And Hydro with two right. Heck yeah, Hydro. Warzone triggers him. Dude, so you know Call of Duty actually doesn't get me mad. Call of Duty doesn't get me mad. Is it because like you don't or you're not like that good? What do you mean? I'm I'm disgusting at Call of Duty. Like I'm really good. Like I would argue that I'm better at Call of Duty than I am at FIFA, and I'm really good at FIFA. Are you serious? Yeah, I would argue that I'm better at Call because I like what I do with Call of Duty. It's not that I'm naturally good at the game. It's that I study a lot of the game in Call of Duty. Like most Call of Duty games, like I'll spend hours and hours watching pros play and uh, watching like like ranked matches in Call mm. of Duty and whatnot. And I learn like all the strategies to follow and like the best gun combinations with attachments to use. Uh, to use this stuff. So I'm really good at Call of Duty. What what makes me rage in, in Warzone specifically is I play I only play Call of Duty with my friends. Like I don't grind Call of Duty alone. Like I only hop on Call of Duty matches with my friends. And when I'm playing Call of Duty with my friends, we have a couple of friends that don't play the game properly. They don't take the game seriously. And if I'm playing a video game, I'm playing the video game to win. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm gonna have you as a teammate and you're gonna be like pardon me but half assing the game the entire time I'm gonna get pissed. So I rage at them and then they don't want to play with me anymore because I, I rage at them. But I just have a very competitive nature. I want to win. Oh, not Victor joined up. Wow. Uh, he's already coming into the top five. He says uh, he does, uh, that he sucks at You're not bad, dude. At Cold War. You're not bad. We, we've played a couple of games together and, and uh, you're, not, you're not bad. You're not bad. Like, honestly, dude, uh, Justin, 99% uh, of, of Warzone and Call of Duty in general is just movement, dude. It's just uh, movement map awareness. That that's like like anybody can shoot straight. So all you have to do is like you know like like fix your movement around like like quicker turns and whatnot, and that's pretty much it. I don't know how to play. Yeah, you struggle to move both joysticks at the same time. I tried and I was just like walking like this the entire <laughs> time. <laughs> I didn't know how, and then I would go down. <laughs> it was bad. I don't know how to play at all. <laughs> I can't multitask. I think it's something that you have to learn as a child, like how to play with the. Robots. No, no, it, it just comes with practice. Like for me, when I started playing League, I've never played in a keyboard or mouse ever. Like, like to me, playing in keyboard or mouse was like foreign knowledge. Like I, I uh, but you know, after after like weeks of playing and like getting used to like the hand positionings, like you know more or less where things go. Like before, like in League of Legends, you play with uh, Q W E R, and then you have like the one, two, three, four, five. Uh, to do like special things or whatever mm -hmm. and I wouldn't be able to be pressing like my QWER which are my abilities and also play for like press uh, like, my items or whatever like one two three four yeah but now like I more or less can handle having my four abilities up and one item 
and then eventually I can think of a second item to activate and whatnot. It's, it's very, it's very hard. It's very, hmm. very hard to get used to. Hydro says that he just guessed it, but did you get? Oh, he got it right. He, he climbed up right? all the way yeah. to fourth. He Heck yeah, up. Hydro. Heck yeah, dude. He's been playing heaps of Fortnite. I used to be terrible at it and magically have become good. Hey! Heck yeah, dude. I've actually never liked Fortnite. I hated the building. I've always hated the building aspect of Fortnite. I don't know. I just find it very toxic because now there's people that build the entire Empire Steel building in 25 seconds. Really? They yeah, can? it's super toxic. It's super what toxic. What do you mean? How is that toxic? Because, like, okay, the way that the game works is you pretty much have... You spawn with, like, a little axe. And you have to find guns, but with that axe, you like hit trees and bricks and whatever. And you collect like bricks, you collect metal, and you collect uh, wood. Yeah. And with that, when you're in battle, somebody's shooting at you, you can start like building. That's pretty much the way Fortnite works. But there's like kids that literally build like a full freaking like Empire State building in like 0 0.3 seconds. And I'm just sitting there like with my shotgun, like, okay, kill me. Like, that's fine. Like, I'm, I can't do that. But by the way, we spent money speaking of video games on the Pokemon. What is that? Snap. Snap. We need to play that and more. And have you played any? Have you played any? I wouldn't mind playing. You, you've tonight. been saying, you know, I want to play some. I want to play some. You never played? Es que the, I, I have maybe no we energy. can do that instead of uh, game nights. Maybe we could do game nights like once a month. Like make it like a big game night, maybe three or four quizzes, or maybe like like a one two hour stream. Yeah. And putting like four quizzes on game night. Yeah. And then we can do um, video games. Like Brad is asking. When will we play Minecraft or Pokemon Quest? We probably won't play Minecraft. Probably won't be playing Minecraft. But Pokemon Quest apparently is getting a PvP. So if Pokemon Quest gets a PvP, I'm actually sort of playing a lot more Pokemon Quest. Uh, Pokemon Snap stream. We can do that. We can you do know, that. I would like, if I were to play Pokemon Snap or anything, right? I would want um, it to be like instead of the webcam on my face like just like how we have it now yeah it would be like i'm looking at the nintendo switch and then uh, you know i'll look at the chat but then i'm playing like as if we're all in the same living room i mean the thing is that at that point i don't know if you can hook up the elgato to for them to watch what do you mean to stream to them like the gameplay they won't be able to see the gameplay why because the elgato has to be hooked up to the motherboard or like the the station of the switch Okay, I can be close to the computer, to the tower. No, baby, but what it means is if the switch is not placed into there, there's no feed coming from that. Oh. The switch has to be plugged in there. So then it, it has to be on it the It has to be on the monitors, oh, yeah. Oh, that bites. I don't know about that. But Why? Yeah. Just get like a back camera. Like we can put like a camera like back here in the corner. Yeah. That's facing down at you. And it sees that you choose like the entire setup. Kind of like what Castro, the FIFA YouTuber has. Oh, that would be cool. Kinda yeah. Like, the, like a back camera. Oh, we got Sarah and Owen coming in at the same time. What's good, guys? What's hey, good, Sarah? Sarah? What's good, Owen? Owen? How are you guys doing? How are you yeah, guys doing tonight? Yeah, what a pleasant surprise. Yeah, how are you guys been, man? Yeah. Guys been? Happy but Sunday. Honestly, with, with me now having more time on my hands that I know is free. Because... You do? No, like, okay, like, since I'm going to be working, I'm going to have a set schedule. You get me? It's not like school where it's like... Oh, today yeah, I had class for like random two hours. No, I am. I am. But it's one of those things where like, let's say I can get home at like 5.30. Mm -hmm. Right? You're home at 5.30. I can eat, hang out with you for a little bit. Uh, take like an hour nap because you know I don't really take like too many like long naps. Uh, take like an hour nap and then maybe stream for like an hour and a half a day. They just up on Pokemon Snap and just chill around with the peeps. That's totally up to you, man. Ooh, you, you're, I mean, it's like, it's time that I will be used for gaming anyway. Yeah. Because what else am I going to do now that I don't have, like, homework or anything like that, like, exams to study for? Yeah. Sarah says, doing all right. How are you feeling, Sarah? Yeah, how you been? Uh, we, we never heard from you when about what the results came back. Yeah. I know it's been, like, a week now. Um, but is everything good? Is everything okay? If, if you don't want to answer in the chat, that's fine. But we're really... Yeah, um, you can send us a message yeah, on it, IG if you'd like. Yeah. Ooh, not Victor climbing up again. But bro, Dane is doing great for yeah, his dude. first time. Heck yeah, Dane. Is it Dane's first time? And Hydro too. I'm pretty sure Dane's the played. Leaderboard. Dane's played before. I'm oh, sure Dane has played. Hi Hydro is new, but I'm pretty sure Dane's played before. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Dane and Hydro are doing great, and Hydro for his very first time, he's on the leaderboard. That's Heck awesome. Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. All right, guys. In the DCG, what does the energy access ability do? And today we actually have a quiz from Victor, but yeah, if we Victor. don't have many, should we maybe save it for next weekend? It's up what to do you, you guys, because quizzes from Victor are difficult. 
Yeah, they are super quizzes difficult. From, yeah, quizzes from Victor are hard, yeah. guys. If you, if you guys are not prepared, quizzes from Victor are very, very hard, man. V Victor is not fooling around. Oh my god, I totally forgot to message y'all. I'll DM y'all later. You're good. You're good, Sarah. We appreciate it. No worries, mama. Yeah, I just hope that everything is good. I remember that the Denny had just came out when, when we made this quiz. And that Denny was crazy. And I got a couple of them from the the tool trainer kit or whatever. Yeah. The trainer tool kit. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to make a second one. Really? I'm going to make a second one with like all like the newer, like really OP cards or whatever. Wow. Yeah, that would be fun. Also, the Rapidash V. The one that you like, the last unicorn? It discontinued, right? What is that what mean? it is? The normal V card is not going to be in the set. Yeah. But the alternate art might be. The one... The one that you want, the, the full art and the alternate, want. might be in the set yeah. for Chilling Rain. Yeah. But the other one just got released now. Um, we actually saw it at Big League yesterday when we went uh, as a V-Box with two Battle Style packs. And then uh -huh. I don't know what the other two packs are. Wow. Yeah. And Sarah said that she beat the Pokemon Snap in three Ooh, days. Ooh, that's crazy. I still I have yet to get a a, a four star picture. I need to figure out how to get a four star picture. Wow, that's, that's really crazy. that's crazy. It's okay, Brad. At least you got it to charge. Yeah, you're charging it now. You're chilling. You're chilling, Brad. Before Gen Seven, what did the fresh water items do? Or oh, the fresh water item do rather? Hmm. So yeah, we would have to see if we're gonna be doing the other game night just so that we can have more more peeps out. We could do kind of like yeah. a all series of games. Yeah. Yeah, I, and or if anything too, like if we if we find ourselves with more time through throughout the week, or maybe like since now like uh, Saturday Sundays, um, I'm not gonna be doing like project work or anything like that either. Mm -hmm. uh, we can maybe like schedule more stuff with other YouTubers to like plan out like something for like a stream for like a Saturday night or something like that. Yeah, that'd be and cool. Play like Scribbly or play GeoGuessr or whatever. You're gonna level up the areas too, and you'll get better pictures. Yeah, that, that's what I've heard, Sarah. Because I only played that. I'm being completely honest with you guys. I've only played that first night that we did the stream um, at like midnight. I, I haven't played the game again. But I definitely need to need to start grinding that. Definitely need to get it on stream for you guys. Oh, oh I'm sorry, sorry Hydro. Hydro. Oh, it logged him out of the quiz. Yikes, Brad. Oh, dang, Brad. That sucks, dude. Which of these Pokemon is guaranteed to be a shiny when you encounter it in a certain game? Ooh. <laughs> if you guys have ever played the Pokemon game, especially Gen 2. Yeah. Is it Gen 2? I'm pretty sure it's Gen 2. It has to be Gen 2. If not, I just made an idiot out of myself, but I'm pretty it's sure it's okay. Gen 2. Pretty sure it's Gen 2, Hard Gold Soul Server. Yep. Gyarados, Red Gyarados. Thank you. Hand it to you. Fairly early into the game as well. Really good Pokemon. Ooh, Hydro got it right. See, Hydro was saying that he didn't really know if he was going to be doing well or not. but He's, he's doing amazing. He's By the way, Sarah, are your uh, kids excited for summer? Because there's only like a week and a couple days left. Yeah. At least for my for county. county. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I couldn't put the game down, but I had to go to work. <laughs> See, for me, what killed it, Sarah, what killed my hype for the game is that literally the week that Pokemon Snap came out, or the day that it came out, was the last day before I started finals. Oh, because you had to study. Yeah. yeah. So I had Pokemon Snap gets released, then the weekend, then, oh, we, we're lagging, we're lagging. Oh, oh, okay, never mind, we've recovered. It was Pokemon Snap gets released, the weekend, final number one, final number two, final number three, graduation. Hmm. So I was like, oh, it was, it was, and then after that, like my family was here for almost the entire week. Uh, I just didn't have time to play at all and I just haven't gotten a chance to pick it up since. By the way, that text that I got was from the husky person. Oh, that it is. Oh. Yeah, I I told I told you what I sent them, yeah. right? Yeah. And well, hopefully they we'll they responded. See. We want um, a a husky. Dane, Dane. Uh, so yeah, the the face cam is blocking the the question when it first comes up. But the thing is, if we move it anywhere else, um, it'll block something. Yeah, it's gonna either <laughs> it's gonna either block the question once it's uh, once it's already set up. Yeah. Or it's gonna block the answers. Like it's gonna block either this area here, which for longer questions, uh, it'll block the first couple of words, or it's gonna block the any of the questions here. So we can't really like like we found that the best way to do it is to put us here, like where we are right now. So it'll just block it for a brief. For, yeah, for like a second with seconds. the questions coming up. Yeah. Yeah, like like I understand that, and it's really annoying that we can't move it around. But yeah, for longer questions, since like this entire space gets occupied, it's just like really hard for you guys to see if we have the camera anywhere else. 
And if not, we're gonna be tiny. And then Natasha complains that we're tiny people. <laughs> so Sarah says that they have 15 days left. They are happy to be done with distance learning. My daughter just got COVID. Hey, or hey, the that's vaccine, awesome. Not COVID. COVID, yeah, COVID vaccine. Yeah, no, it's not awesome. Yeah, it's no. awesome. She got the vaccine. Yeah, that's great though. So I'm assuming that her county kind of waits uh, another week and something because. We finish in seven days. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, you guys finished this week. Wow, it's pretty cool. Well, next Tuesday, we're done. Wow. I can't wait. I'm so That's happy. Awesome. They sent the email. No distance learning, face to face. Woohoo! Wow. I'm crazy. adding up the original score and my current score. <laughs> okay, so Brad has 7160 right now. So Brad would Ooh, be right up here. Yeah, we're looking at getting a husky, calling it Chalupa Batman. No, we're gonna name it Balto. No, we're from not. The Disney you movie. already got to name your dog. I get to name my dog. So ASX, do you have any uh, dogs or pets? Yeah, people in the chat. Do you guys have any pups or cats or hamsters or turtles? I want to get a hamster for my classroom. I want a ferret. I'm adding up the original score on my current score. We saw that, Brad. True or false? In the Crown Tundra, you will be able to catch every single mythical Pokemon. Wow, look at how old that is. That is from before the Crown Tundra got released. That's literally from a month before Crown Tundra got released. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, ASX. He has a dog and a cat. Do they get along? Brad has Rocco the cat. Yeah, we know about Rocco. So, ASX, what type of dog do you have? And then Sarah says, uh, Lil Yeshi goes back on June 6th for the second shot. Okay, that's awesome. Now waiting for the boys' um, age group to get approved. That's super awesome. Heck okay, yeah. And then you guys can actually go back to normal, at least as normal as we can get now. Yeah. We actually haven't gotten the vaccine. A Maine Coon cat called Lulu. What is a Maine Coon? Maine Coon are the gray with the black stripes, like the... Okay. Yeah. Those are cute. Those are cute. Yeah, I remember because I had, well, I'm assuming they are. If I, if memory serves me right, like that's how they look like. You know what cats don't really like? Hmm. The, the fully shaved one. The ones that don't grow hair. I would get those. Those cats are hideous. Those I would are, get the hairless those cats cat. Are, those cats are nightmare fuel. I cannot have a cat that has hair. Dude, if, if I wake up in the middle of the night and I see that thing staring at me, I'm hunting <laughs> it like a football. Like, I can't. It was funny, mm, so where are We you? don't support animal abuse. Don't take this out of context. Oh it's definitely a joke and it's uh, said for parodical and satirical purposes. Oh, man. Uh, uh, but yeah, no, I, I don't like those things. Those things. Like, you wake up in the middle of the night and dude, it's a nightmare. It's like a zombie from Call of Duty attacking you. No, no. It was funny. So, when where I used to live, the neighbor had a cat like that, right? And the cat, I guess, escaped. And then I see, like, this hairless thing. Like, it looked like an alien. Yeah, it is. In front Heck no. of where I lived. Because I lived in an apartment. It was, it was really funny. Um... Sarah said, oh no, Brad. Wait, wait, Justin. I've got a couple of marine fish, a cat, and we've got Frank. Yeah, Frank. Whoa. The pug. That's so cute. And Brad says, my grandma has a dog called Chloe. I think it's spelled. Chloe? Okay. And they're super fluffy from Sarah. ASX says, yeah, they get along for the most part. They like to play. But See, so, so that's the thing with us getting a, a husky. Um, is that Puka, uh, our dog right now, doesn't know how to play. Like, Puka will go and she will, like, like, you know, she will try and try and try and try to annoy anything around her. We took her to the dog park. Yesterday. And she got into 17 and a half fights within 20 minutes to the point where Natasha was almost crying because the dog almost bit Puka. So we had to run no, away and No, 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 no. It's just that she was trying to say hi to the owner. Oh. And then the dog got territorial. Mm. And then the dog was trying to bite Puka. But then the, the... What about the other three dogs that tried to fight her? No, because there was a Boston Terrier that also got yelled at from mm. a dog or whatever, mm. barked at. Puka loves to get into fights with bigger dogs than she can handle. And Puka is like about this size. And <laughs> she just likes a small lot of booty. And, and huskies are <laughs> very big. And like puppies play like that. Like puppies play by like, you know, going at each other and like gnawing on each other and like slapping each other. And that's just how, how puppies are. But Natasha didn't understand that. And... Yeah, if we, if we get a husky, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. No, because the thing about it is that the husky, if we have it as a puppy, it will um, grow up with Puka and be able to acclimate with Puka. It would have been more difficult. Yeah, but when, the other when way it's around. when it's growing up, when the puppy is a puppy and it's growing up, it goes through that, like like teen phase where it all it does is fight. Like it's gonna bite you, it's gonna bite me, it's gonna fight stuff. It's not gonna bite me because that's not how I raise my dog. No, like it's not gonna bite you hard. It's bite. You, it's gonna bite you playfully. Like it's yeah. gonna like like grab your hand, like try to like move it around and yeah. stuff like that. Because that's how dogs play. And it's gonna do that to Puka too. The thing is that it's a, a hundred pound dog, 
compared to Puka that's two and a half pounds. Hmm. And Justin says huskies are beautiful. Yeah, I, I mean they are beautiful, but I'm really worried about the hair. Yeah. Because I go crazy. There, there's with like hair. A, a glove that you can buy that like when you pet them it like takes all the hair away. Yeah, but they just they somehow regrow hair like because, immediately. By the time we get a husky, we're gonna have them outside. Like I'm not a big fan of inside uh, of keeping dogs that inside. That dog is not gonna be outside, Juan. That's not how you you know. Yes, it is. No. Those dogs love to be outside. They don't the want to be inside. The way to train a husky is with a spray bottle. Yeah. See, Natasha refuses. Like not even her 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 puppy right now. We we can't train Puka like that. Puka is trained. Puka is trained to poop in the closet. No. And where my laptop setup is. That's where Puka She's likes to poop. She's a great dog. She's like honestly Could be my better. best friend. She's my best friend. Could be better, but anyway, yeah, Brad. Like dogs, like, it's not like slapping. They don't go like pat like to each other. They they like jump and like they push each other around like that. Like they show. <laughs> they slap. They <laughs> yeah, they don't actually paws, slap each other. They go like that. <laughs> yeah, they like slap box. What is the name of the electric type gym leader in Gen Three? And we're gonna name it Balto. You can also get a short haired. There's there is such a thing. Yeah. As a short haired husky. Well. I want that one. And there's um. I want exactly that one. What is the mix that I wanted to get? It's like a husky, like my favorite dog. Um, I remember, I don't remember what the mix is. My me, my grandmother was on the show me. I don't know if it's like a poodle mixed with a husky or something. It's pretty much like a husky that is like this big. Like it doesn't grow much than like this. Oh, I know which ones you're talking Pomsky. about. Yeah, Pomeranian. Pomeranian and husky, yeah. I don't know how that worked out. It, it did. Don't ask me. <laughs> ask science. Ask nature and biology. But anyway, Dane in first place uh, with ASX in second. Victor holding on to third with an answer streak of 11. Hydro in fourth and Brad in fifth. And the short hair can be outside and like the long haired husky. No, but even then, so I used to think the same way that, oh, only two questions left in the quiz. Uh, I used to think that long haired huskies would not be able to, to adapt well to mm -hmm. living in the conditions of Florida. Because it's very, very hot in here. If you guys are not from Florida, but they have like hot. two coats. So pretty much, yeah, they're they're insulated. So they're not really they're not gonna really be taking in the heat from the sun. Because I have a friend that has like a page with like an Instagram page with for his two huskies, and he has like thirty thousand followers on it. It's just like him like taking care of his dogs. Is that why you want the husky for no, the I've followers? Been no, I've been wanting the huskies <laughs> for like twenty years now. But oh wow, you could say twenty so, years. Yeah, now. I can oh, say man, that. Look at so that. I'm, I'm grown. I'm grown. You're so old. But but yeah, uh, I've been one of the huskies for a while. But this guy, like, I was asking, I was like, dude, like, how is it to have like huskies in Orlando? Like, is it is it bad for them? And he's like, no, dude, like, they don't want to come back inside just because like their fur is like insulated, so they don't really feel the heat. So I love just running around outside all well, the time. Well, I would not leave my dog outside. I'm so sorry. It would not be outside dog. When I left in Spain, I had 12 dogs living outside my house. Yeah, well, that was you. And that was I back then. House. No, dude, you want dogs living out. You don't want all those dogs inside. That's too much hair. <laughs> Just since like 20 years now. Wow, old, old man. man. right? That's what I'm saying, <laughs> dude. Hey, dude. 23 going into 24. Look oh, you're that. not 24 yet? No, dude. You're <laughs> six years older than me. Come on. You should know this. Oh, the math. Man. Who's this original Pokemon theme song? You know who's turning 30 soon, though. Bro, we need to think about what we're gonna do for my thirtieth. We it has to be something. Turning thirty soon. We're going to Australia. That's a, that's uh, next August though. That's what? not for my birthday. We have to do something even more. Like like it would be have to. It would have to be crazy. Um, Hydro, you're fine, dude. You're doing really well, man. You're yeah, doing you're really fine. well. You're doing Who's really well. Thirty five, come talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dude, that's still one. twelve years away. That's crazy. Oh man, that suits for me. That's crazy. All right, guys. All right, winners of the night or the first quiz of the night. Here you go. Bro, you could have done it, man. I couldn't have. I have to wait for you. Oh, it's Dane. Dane, Dane yeah. do you follow us on Instagram? Pretty sure he does. Oh, he does? Okay, let me check. Dane, I'm guessing we were talking about Santa Conda earlier. I'm guessing you won the Santa Conda. I'm guessing you want to say, if not, let me know. We'll send you the the Calyrex. So I wonder, does Dane have us? I don't know. I don't, I don't, because there's a lot of Danes here. What is your Instagram, Dane? Dane. Uh, Basex says, GG's everyone. Gotta head out. Uh, it was fun hanging out with everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Dude. We really do appreciate you coming in and hanging out with us every time, Basex, bro. Have a good night, man. Like all my Pokemon knowledge, yes, I want the Sandy Boa. Heck yeah, there we go. So, Sandaconda. 
on its way to Dane. Dane, remember to message us on Instagram for yeah. your address. Send us a message on Instagram ASAP yeah. with your address, man. And then Coronica's here. JP, what's up, bro? I haven't seen you in a minute, man. Have you seen that they're making a new Dragon Ball Z? But I would have had 9,863. That's pretty good. Pretty good. There we wow. go. Dane just followed us. Chilling. Hey, awesome. Wait, he did? Yeah. Okay. There we go. And now, get feedback. How was it? 36%. Look at that. People are struggling with this, man. All right. And then today, we have the special. The special. The Victor special. We have the Victor special. Again, Victor, thank you so much for making these quizzes for us, dude. You're freaking amazing. Yeah. Uh, Victor, you're OP. You you know that we love you. You're one of our favorite peeps in the community, Victor. Thank you so much for doing this. Big shout out to Victor in the chat, guys. If you guys haven't followed Victor on Instagram yet, go follow him on Instagram. Victor, plug yourself, dude. Plug all your info. Victor, super late. He's a really good League of Legends player, too. He carries us all the time. Best support ADC in the game. Okay. Uh, Hydro says, GG, it's kind of fun. I'm glad you're having fun, man. I'm That's glad you're awesome. having fun. Heck yeah, we love doing these. It's literally like our favorite thing to do in, in the channel. It, I, we just feel like it's, it's gotten a little bit dry lately, so we need to switch it up. We need to figure out what else to do for, yeah. for game nights. I'm trying to put everything here. On Insta. Yeah, <laughs> Victor's like, I don't play ADC. The support part is true, though. Yeah, yeah but but at, at this point, Victor, you're, you're ADC and support. And sometimes you're you're the jungle as well. You know, you, you never know. You never know what you're going to get with Victor. He plays all the roles at once. My hopes for the movie. One, everyone gets a new form. Two, UB, UUB appears. Three, PyCon becomes canon. I mean, PyCon has to become canon, dude. Like, he's even in the card game at this point. He's, he's even in the in the card game at this point. So he, he does have to become canon. The new form, like, I just feel like it's getting old, like, the way that they get the forms, dude. Like, it's just like, okay, Goku fights really strong guy. Goku's hair changes to a different color. Goku wins. <laughs> like, I feel like they need to, they need to like, make it, like, a new plot. Like, maybe, like, when he changes forms, he becomes, like, an animal. Like, like Naruto going into, like, the Nine Tails form or something like that. Nighty night, Sarah. Thank you Good so night, much for Sarah. stopping by. Thank you so much for chilling with us for a bit. Yeah, it was nice talking to her again. I yeah. missed her. Yeah, a lot, a lot of catching up in in today, actually. Yeah. Yeah. There's one more to come after. Uh, good friends of ours that we haven't talked to in a minute that we we really need to catch up with. Oh. oh. Maybe we need to do like a, a, a quote unquote, even though it's not about blood, like there's no beef or anything like that. We need to do like a reconciliation video. No. <laughs> that would be fun. Alright, send the message to confirm. Who, though. Yeah, we can reveal who. Um, okay, Dane sent us a message. Chilling, Dane. Chilling. I tagged you in the IG story, Dane. Heck yeah. If you guys want to play again, here's the code. Make sure to load up, guys. I think Victor's we need to quiz. have at least five for Victor to really... At least five? Can we get five people to play, guys? Yeah, so that we could really... Can we get, get... five people to play? I know Victor's going to play, so that's three already. Come on, Karanika, play! JP, run it up! I think JP just comes here to chill and talk about anime, dude. Yeah, probably. <laughs> just chilling on the video gets to a good part of YouTube. Time to run an ad. I hate that, dude. I hate that. Run ad block, except for our videos. Don't run ad block on our videos because now we don't get paid. We don't get paid anyway, but once we start getting paid, you guys need to watch all the ads, click on them, buy something from that website, and then come back to the video and watch. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, I really want. I, I'm anxious to see what they messaged us because I'm like, I literally like said half of their asking price. Like, Less than that. You, you said no, a third. No. They asked for 1500 I said 750 Oh, I thought you said 500 oh, I was like, bro, like... Uh, no. I actually had an ad pop up from one of your videos before. So, the way it works now, Justin, um, is YouTube has the rights to put ads on your videos and not pay you for it. That's horrible. YouTube has the right to put ads on your videos and not pay you for it up until you're monetized. That's crazy. So, yep, yeah, that's the way the world works. So, I've been saying this for a while, but I really want to switch to Twitch. I really want to start streaming on Twitch. I want to get a thousand subs. 
Okay, I still want to start streaming on Twitch. Why not grow on both? <laughs> Screw it. Like, our growth on YouTube has been pretty much stunned anyway, so. I don't think so. I think What's we're up? growing, um, like. Bro, like, it's been a year we haven't even hit 1,000. It's crazy. Like, most other people we know, in a year, we're like a 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. Yeah, I don't know how. Do you see my message on Instagram? Let me check right now, dude. Let me see. I have it on my phone. I think, I think we did, though. There we go. Yeah, we got your message, bro. You're chilling. You're good. Send us your address. It, it will yeah. click on it. Yeah. Send us your error. Yeah, put send us. We got you. Send us your address. Perfect. Fishing. Hi, fishing. How are you, man? There we go. Just responded to you, brother. All righty. Um, what's up, Mario? Mario just woke up, dude. Literally, I've been asking Mario basketball to play league with me, and he doesn't respond. He leaves me on red. Wow, he leaves you on yeah, red. Yeah, he leaves me on red, bro. He leaves me what on red. What did you do to him? Did wow, you yeah, like Mario, rage and on Justin? Him? Did, Justin didn't even respond to me either. Justin didn't respond I asked to him you yesterday. either. I was like, oh, Ruben. Oh, he says that we never responded to his email. Did we not? I'm sorry, Ruben. Let me check right now. Wait, but we sent it to him. Yeah, we sent you the card. We sent you. We did send the card out. We did send the card out, Ruben. Yeah. Oh, uh, let me check. Yeah, I'm I, sorry, Ruben, if we didn't respond. No, it's it won't be there because we had already sent it. So I put it in a folder. Okay. And I probably should have mentioned that I'm already. That's no problem. I'll go. Yeah, we sent it to the Netherlands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just sent it out. We just sent so, it out. So, uh, Ruben, we sent it out like Last about. Last week. Well, yeah. We're going to have a go. So, because it's going international, Ruben, it might take about a month. Yeah, it's, it's going to take a while. Like, I remember when we sent one to Colombia, it took, yeah. like, almost a month and a half, two months to get there. So For the UK, it kind of goes by quickly, but we did not forget yeah. you, Ruben. We, we did send it out. We did send it out. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't respond. It's just that, uh, like, I looked at it, yeah. and then I was packaging everything, and I'm so sorry. Yeah, we apologize, man. We're really bad at responding. We we really are. We really are. It's a, usually, should... we have a lot of stuff going on, but I, I we're sorry, man. I, I apologize. We'll yeah. be better about it. Yeah, but it is actually, on its way to you. Yeah, it's on it, its way. It's on its way to you. I'm raising content and my subs are going down one by one. Dude, don't, don't even sweat it, dude. It's because you're switching your content up, but you're doing Call of Duty instead of Pokemon. That That's happened to, to a lot of people. Yeah, that happened to, um, what's his name? I forgot his name. Like he, like, said that in the beginning he had a, a channel. Or JD. Yeah, JD. JD used yeah. to do um Rayman content. Right. And he had, like, 400 subs from Rayman, and they started Pokemon. He said that he lost, like, 200 subs. No, even now, um, I don't know if you guys know who this is, but Matthew Santoro. Oh, yeah. Matthew Matthew Santoro uh, stopped doing top 10s. He's, he's a YouTuber that's really well known for his top 10s. He was like one of the first people on YouTube doing top 10s. Uh, he used to do, again, top 10 videos, and he had 6.2, uh, or he has 6.25 million subscribers. And he switched it up. He stopped doing top 10s because he felt like it wasn't like content that he wanted to make anymore, that he wanted to move on to creepypastas and um stories and stuff like that the top tens and yesterday he actually made a video saying that he's been losing money for the past few months making his videos because he gets twenty five thousand views even though he has over six million subscribers yeah and he's like honestly like if you're one of those people that like is subscribed to my channel but you guys don't care for the new content that i'm making i would ask you guys to unsubscribe because it's really harsh on me knowing that i have this many subscribers and that i'm finally making content that i enjoy and that people are not watching it. Like, it's like, I find it almost insulting that, that I have, like, this many people subscribe to me that I don't yeah. even want to give my my new content a try. Yeah. So and don't sweat it, dude. Like, it happens to everybody. And honestly, like, because even Justin, who was saying that he doesn't mind anymore, to be honest, he's just playing games at the moment. We, like, we love putting content out there. But yeah. to be honest, like, today we put it... Uh, put the graduation video had nothing to do with Pokemon. Yeah, and it's no, because... like at this point we're not gonna sweat it anymore. Like yeah. if it's a video that we enjoy making and that we want to make, like the snack video, like the snack video did horrible, like to to our standards, like it didn't do. Like well the at snack all. video that we did recently. Yeah, yeah, no, the the, one... no, the Australian one is our most watched video, which yes. is nuts, dude. Justin, Justin, the Australian snack yeah. video. It has like nine hundred views or eight hundred no, no, views. It has seven hundred and something. Yeah, it has almost eight hundred views, which is yeah. nuts, and it did horrible when we first posted. It had like thirty views. Yeah, and then. And like it's just been crazy. Like we still get that comments. We're hoping the snack crate will get there. Uh, but it's it's been getting like a crazy, ridiculous amount of views, which is nuts. Um, we still get comments on that video to this day. Yeah. Um, but it's one of those things where like you know if, if we enjoy the the content that we're making, like it, it doesn't matter. Like 
that that's also why I want to start doing stuff on Twitch. Because, like, yeah, this channel is a lot of fun, and we really do enjoy what, what we do in this channel. But I feel like it's very, very PG, where if I were to have, like, at least my own um, Twitch channel, we could play other games, we can play Call of Duty, we can play League of Legends, we can play World of Warcraft, we can play whatever, uh, FIFA, and it will be a lot more, like, of, like, 14 up or 18 up stream, where, you know, like, I can say more questionable stuff, uh, we can rage at each other, we can all just, you know, like, you know, like, shoot the can. For, for lack of a, a better word, or for not saying a, another word. But I think that would be a lot of fun to just get a few of us chilling, you know, like playing other games. Ruben says you should try Dutch snacks. We have some bangers. Dude, so we we have, we've, so far we've tried Australian, and in our snack crate we got German. German but definitely was... Dutch candy would be good. Dutch candy would be really interesting. The, what do you guys have there? The Tim Tams, though, Australian were Tim's, like... Oh, but the, the Nutella little bars, like the German Nutella bars were pretty good too, like the little the, squares. Nothing beats Tim Tams. Yeah, Tim Tams were good. Nothing beats the Tim Tams. Uh, Fishing says, I really like the vlog style videos you guys make. Both of you have a mate. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Mario. We appreciate it, A nice man. comment made by Fishing. It's because Mar Mario knows that, that he's enticing us not to go to Frisco so we can make a vlog with him. Another oh, one. Oh, is that right? Oh. And then Justin's like, Stroop oh, waffles. Okay. Ooh, we might need to look those up. Stroop really. waffles. Okay. We might need to look those up. And Blob Race is here. Ooh, Blob Race. I haven't seen you in a minute, buddy. How you been, bro? I'm guessing you were super busy with school, man. I'm guessing you have finals and stuff around this time, too. Yeah, how did they go, Blob? How you been, man? You know who hasn't showed up in a minute either? Oh. All of our freaking like like UK and um, Irish buddies haven't showed up. Yeah. We've had Connor show up in a minute. Yeah. Beanos. Beanos and Beezalist. Bees is Canada, but yeah, Bees as well. Yeah. I'm guessing they're all super tied up with school right now. Rene. What's good, Rene? What's good, bro? Uh, thank you again for your congratulations as well, Rene. I did see them on Instagram and on YouTube. We just haven't gotten a chance to respond today. It's been That's a really, so really busy day, but I will respond to you guys by the end of the day. Uh, I really do appreciate it, man. You guys mean so much to me. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys can join in. Because yeah, guys, we we're not starting this up until we have five peepers in here. If not, we're ending the stream. Oh, Fishing says that he's going to hop in the game. Okay, Yay, okay. We need four. to get one more. Fishing, get, tell jobs, man. You guys have exactly... Hmm, it's 9.13. And I give you guys until 9.16 to For get real? five people in here. Yeah, guys, we have to record, bro, and we have to work tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, we man. We have to record and we have to work tomorrow. They don't have to wake up at 6 in the morning. Yeah. Oh, Fishy's like, I think he's asleep. Wake him up. <laughs> uh, yeah. But that's so sweet that Fishing says that we have amazing personalities. Bro, it's I think I have a better one, though. It's because me and Fishing low-key have a, a relationship. Me and Fishing okay. love each other very much. Yeah, but but you're, you're a little... <laughs> I love you, Mario. You make me laugh out loud. <laughs> Bro, the other day at Target... Uh, I, I have this ring, right? That's like, it's a thick ring on my index. Oh my and gosh. And it, it's a fidget spinner. So you can like spin something. And uh, I sliced Juan's finger open because like I yeah, went like this. Bro, and then... like, she literally lifted up the entire skin of my pinky finger dude, on my left hand. And it started bleeding. I was like, bro, are you serious? Why? Like... <laughs> but in front of everybody at the uh, at uh, Yeah, the target. target. I'm like, bro, it's because you don't know how to walk. You walk like an octopus. And then he goes like this. <laughs> And then the lady that was sitting next to her, or the lady that was like standing next to us in the aisle started laughing. I was like, yeah, bro, you walk like an octopus. Oh, that was really funny. Uh, Blob says that he's been pretty busy with stuff, but it's been tough to be honest. Hope things have been good here. Yeah, man. Ooh, Blob is in. Yeah, man. Like, it's been busy here bro. Like, too, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. Life happens, dude. Uh, I just hope that everybody's healthy, man, that, that you're doing well, that your family is good. And you guys are just chilling. Oh, we got LJ8 Sports. Was good. Was oh, good. I LJ8. have to show Justin then. Look, look. LJ8 Sports. I don't know if you're uh, Luis Polo or not, but you have a very look. similar picture to a friend of ours called Luis Polo. See, look at this. This is the best ring ever. Yeah, no, I hate that ring. <laughs> oh, Justin is on. We got six peepers now. Wow, Justin is literally on. Like. When he's just, like, half asleep. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, Mario called me. He's annoying me now. Uh, Rene says, uh, fishing for Pokemon and Juan's relationship reminds me of mine's with my homie Manny. Dude, that that's that's the friendship, dude. That Like, if you don't flirt with your homies, who are you going to flirt with? Yeah. Right? Like, you have to flirt with your homies, dude. If you don't kiss your homies goodnight, then you're not really friends. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I think I need to stop uh, doing projects on the last day. Dude... Do it up until college. Trust me. I graduated and I used to do that. You're fine. 
Job says that he, he has arrived, he has awakened, and we have six peepers. You know what that means? Victor's quiz is starting up. Dude, what is this sappy music that's getting played in here right now? It's sappy. It's like super sappy. Like, I don't know why this stream, like, it's the stream that I normally play, the non copyrighted stream. Yeah, they're good. My nephew was born uh, days ago and got to see him. Oh, Ooh, that's so awesome, dude. Congrats, so man. So that makes him. Are you a first time uncle? That makes him a Taurus. Ooh. Are you a first time uncle, Blob Rex? Are you a first time uncle? And this is the first question Which of the following evolution lines has a unique typing? Ooh. Justin, you didn't do any homework? Bro. Hmm. Jeb says I was being productive doing yard work. Yeah, right. I need mm. we need pictures, man. We need pictures. I it's, I it's uh what is it? Press F. I think it's click one. F, press F. Press to F doubt. to pay respects. No. Oh, no, press X to doubt. X. <laughs> wow, press F to doubt, guys. Press F to doubt. <laughs> I love ASX duck card game. Uh I was being productive doing yard work. Ooh, he was hard at work. Maybe hardly working. I did any homework or projects during high school. See, you don't need to, you're chilling. Oh, here's my fourth nephew. Oh, so you're, you're used to it by now. You already know what to do. Fourth nephew? You already know your task as a as a uncle. Wow. Well, what's sauce box? Is it is it grass fairy? No, it can't be a grass fairy. No, I had to repeat year 10. Oh, really? Justin. Really? Dang. Wow. Yeah, my my half-sister actually, um, she had to repeat kindergarten. But... What? Yeah. Anyway, it's okay, Justin. You're chilling, dude. My, it doesn't matter. My house is like, so honestly, it, it's a grass normal. Okay, that makes sense. I was going to say grass fairy. No, okay, grass normal makes sense, Victor. Only Bob looks got that right. But I was going to say, dude, like, honestly, I, after graduating college, and I apologize if there's any other college graduates in the in the chat or the stream that maybe feel differently than I do. Mm -hmm. But am I the only one that feels like college doesn't really prepare you for anything? Yeah. Like, I feel like college just teaches you to manage your time more or less and for you to work under a lot of stress. Because other than that, like, I'm a mechanical engineer, and I'm going to my first year of work tomorrow, not knowing what the heck I'm expected to do. Yeah. Like, like That's I have scary, no right? clue. Yeah. It's going to be super scary. Like, obviously, I know what my job description is, and I've had meetings already with with the guy that's my boss and my work crew, my, my teammates. But it's one of those things where, like, I'm going to be asking so many questions. Like, I'm going to... And like, that's fine. Um, let's see. Fishing is like, don't ask for pics. Let's, can we ask for pics? <laughs> can you guess on this pic? Or the feet pics? Jobs, why would you... My, so, am I Nati? I thought with you I'm Natacha. No, you're Natacha. Natacha? Yeah. No, but he called me Nati with a Y. I'm Nati Natacha, like the singer. I thought it was with an I. I don't know. Which of the following Pokemon names are is a palindrome? He's like my mother. He called me with a, he's this with a Y. School is not for me at all, but I love studying for my personal training certificate. That's awesome. You see, like, they need to really redesign education. Yeah. Because... I feel like, like depending just, on your major, you need to do stuff that's a lot more hands-on. No, but even in high school. Because I feel like they... It needs to be targeted. I feel like it needs to be targeted learning. Yeah. Like, it's one of those things where, like, if you're not good at reading and writing, um, you don't need to be taking AP Lee, AP Lang, like they made us do. Like, it's one of those things, like... Like, yeah. bro, like... Like, if I'm going to major in engineering, for me, it's not really a necessity to There know. should be more tech oriented like i think all those things like like pretty much like the, the ged courses or whatever like the general education stuff should be taught to you up until like you're like 12 13 yeah and then uh, after you turn like 14 15 like will be like the high school time more or less are you already like developing getting ready for college they should like let you choose a track yeah and gotta start like focusing on that aspect like it would have been a lot more be best no yeah like i feel like it would have been a lot more beneficial for me like studying engineering like doing a lot more physics in high school, going through like calculus one, calculus two, like like doing a lot or like some sort of like electrical um, engineering course or something like that. Like mm -hmm. we've been a lot more helpful than, you know, AP Lang, AP Lit. Now, I'm not saying it's not necessary. Like I, I am one of those people that really does believe that the more you know, the better you are. Um, so I really do enjoy learning like history, geography, even if it's like authors and stuff like that, like, like reading. I don't read too much, but at least like a basic understanding um, of like, like, like lecture retention or like reading retention is necessary but i do feel like it doesn't need to be as stressed as it is yeah, on on the different things yeah fishing is like i'm learning about plants right now yeah he's taking a botany class see like i don't know how, how purposeful that is for for him like 
And uh, Blav is online college is mentally horrible, tough. Horrible, horrible. Like, like normal yeah. college is already bad enough as it is. Online college is like, because you don't focus. Like as much as they want you to focus, the teachers don't care. And you can't focus. And then you get like the hard ass teacher that's like, you know what? Like, I'm not going to teach you anything. But since it's online, you guys are going to be doing all this work for no reason. Yeah. And good luck getting it done. And you're just like, all right, dude, thank you. Anvil says that he can't play tonight, but congrats, Juan. Best of luck, Thank brother. you so much, man. I really do appreciate That's you stopping by saying that, thank man. You I, so it much, means Anvil. a lot, man. It, it does mean a lot. I'm so happy I was able to share that moment with you guys. It, it's really amazing. Yeah, and I edited the video. She did edit the video. Yeah. Yeah. From year 9 to 12, uh, we have compulsory subjects, English, math, but we can pick subjects we want to focus more on. See, for, for me, at least, uh, my first high school, because I went to two different high schools, uh, we have a thing called a magnet here in the US and magnets are like pretty much like subsystems that dedicate like one class a year to a specific topic that that magnet is based on like for example I did an engineering magnet so I had a robotics class my first two years of high school then I switched to different high school so I stopped doing that but there's like magnets in uh, at least in Miami they had like business they had engineering they had biomedical sciences uh, environmental sciences and whatnot but it's not something that every school has and even then i feel like just one course a year doesn't really help you much at all like yeah <laughs> just a rope pole ballers don't upload much content yeah the pole ballers have been slacking dude i might need to to get Bro, a leave, but like because um like his dad and his sister were there when he you know yeah so at only the two stadium. people were allowed at the stadium that's yeah. why you guys saw the picture the video from like natasha my mom and stuff at home yeah uh, watching the the stream yeah so he calls uh me up and he's like i'm so sorry or like something happened and i'm like about to die because it's like, like right before the ceremony starts yeah i was i was freaking out yeah. and then he's like the k fell off and i'm like what do you mean the k fell off he's like yeah the k from pokeballers and i'm like what i don't care about the k <laughs> man you scared me <laughs> like like i'm literally i'm literally calling her in the middle of like my graduation like the live stream the live stream for from ucf is starting up if you guys want to watch it you guys have to look up ucf graduation uh spring or commencement 2021 and it's the may 6th at 1 p.m um yeah. but the live stream is about to start right so like it's like her my mom my cousins um a couple of other friends like watching in in the apartment and the live stream is starting up and i'm calling natasha i'm like yo like I have horrible news and that is you're like but like is he not graduating like there's something happened like yeah. they didn't really like re reject his application to graduate or something like what the heck is going on and i'm like the k fell off and she's like what do you mean yeah and then he like shows the pole ballers on the ucf live yeah stream. literally okay so to that 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 image you guys saw or that that footage that you guys saw of me like getting the diploma thing or whatever showing it off and then taking off my hat and putting it on the camera that that was live on the UCF live stream. Like that, literally everybody's family from every single graduate that day. So <laughs> like a good seven, eight, nine thousand people that were watching that live stream saw yeah. me take off the hat and put up Pokeball, no, subscribe to Pokeball on the camera. Was the best is that he then later tells me that his ex's boyfriend was there. Yeah, my ex's boyfriend, who like I'm actually like friends with, like like I actually know the guy. Like we worked in a couple of projects together. Uh, he actually was on that graduation too, which was kind of funny. Like, it so was really imagine funny. your ex looking at that, she'd be like, <laughs> 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 "That must have been so, uh, like, hilarious." Yeah, but it was definitely funny. Right. Frankie's in here. Let's go, Frankie. Frankie. How's your night going, brother? Yeah. Bro, he found so many um, battle styles uh, blister packs. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Or boost, booster, blister? Which uh, are they in the plastic? They or? had the like the Walgreens one that we got. The sleeved. No, those are blister packs. The Walgreens okay. ones. Yeah. The ones are like in the little plastic. But I think he got it. I don't know where he got it, but it was the ones that we got from Walgreens, like with okay. the card and the coin. Yeah, those are blister that, packs. That was awesome. Change your channel name to Pool Ballers. I'm about to get flooded with subs. <laughs> I mean, I actually like tested it out when I got home. Um, I went on like a private, um, uh, like I opened up like a private Safari screen. To look up uh, pole ballers on YouTube, and we're still the first suggestion. Poke ballers were still the first suggestion, so. Well, that was hilarious. Yeah, it was funny. I know the best part is that when I did that, you guys don't see it on camera, but my tassel fell off the hat, and it fell off of the stage, and I. You the, didn't tell me that. No, so my tassel fell off of the stage when I was walking down the stairs. Uh, the security guy that's like leading people out, he's like, yo, yo, wait a second, wait a second. And I was like, oh, crap, I got in trouble with the school. Like, they're going to freaking suspend me or something. 
And it, the guy's like, he went out of the stage to pick up my tassel and give it back to me. He's oh, like, oh, you nice. dropped your tassel. And I was like, oh, dude, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And then I left. Oh, you didn't tell me that. Yeah. Oh, I, man. I, That's bro, funny. I, I, I crapped my pants. It was... <laughs> But, but I fixed it, though, so now when he yeah, now hangs others. it up or when he has a certificate <clears> up <throat> on the wall and all that stuff, he, he'll he have the cap good. It won't say Poe Ballers. I fixed it. I put the K. Which of the following DCG expansions introduced Pokemon EX to the trading card game? Next Destinies. Ooh. Frankie says that he found them at Walmart. Walmart. Question. How do you guys feel about Target and Walmart not selling Pokemon cards anymore? Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy, crazy that you found cards at Walmart because, to my knowledge, Target has completely stopped selling Pokemon cards and Walmart is thinking about doing that too. That tassel was a hassle. Ooh, how long did it take you to come up with that, Jobs? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good rhyme. Like about a minute. <laughs> Which of the following cards is not marked as a Team Plasma card? Ooh. Yeah, that was a great day. That was a really great day. This one. No, actually this one. Yeah, mm. this one. But... Yeah, yeah, it was it was a, a great day. We went have Korean barbecue after because apparently, like, ever since going to Frisco, we love Korean barbecue. So, <laughs> I guess so. Gotta blame Yeezy and Rob for that. Hey, Hydro. What's good, Hydro? How you doing, man? But, they, um... Also, guys, big news. So, um, I'm not breakfast. gonna throw anybody. Oh, breakfast. Where are you at, Hydro? Yeah. What part of the world are you at, dude? Um, moving to Sam. Sorry. Big news. You're fine. Um, it was Silver Mirror. Wow. Um, so this has not been confirmed yet. Don't don't panic. Don't go crazy. Don't not been confirmed yet. But Claire did nominate uh, Mr. Not Shivam to yeah. to be our next guest in the Get to Know podcast. If you guys don't know Shivam, he's a huge TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram personality. Also growing on YouTube now exponentially with their with his um, Poker Tea Time with Yeezy. He's the co-host of Poker Tea Time with Mr. Yeezy Pokemon, who we've already had in the show, Griffin of ours. Um. We well, did message him the other day, and he actually did respond, which I wasn't even expecting him to respond. I didn't even know he, yeah, he knew who we were. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. So he did respond, and we're in talks with him right now. So hopefully we can get everything figured out, and we can have him on the next Get to Know podcast, guys. That that thing that would be awesome to have Shivam in here. Yeah, he's we're an excited. awesome dude. He's a really funny guy. I don't know if you've seen his TikToks, but he's hilarious. He's a very very funny yeah. dude. Frankie says that he can't stay long. Just drop them to say hey and show some love. Oh, no, Frankie. you're good, Frankie. Thank you, you know, so much, man. Frankie I appreciate you being here, Frankie is honestly such a nice guy. Yeah. I mean, everybody here is super He let me nice, keep like. the Cresselia. Yeah. That was but so But we need to get something going so for Frankie. Nice. We need to get, like, a yeah. package going for him. We, we need to, to send him something because he is honestly, like, such a great guy. I really do value the, the friendship that we have with everybody here in the Yeah, community. you guys are awesome. Yeah. You guys are really awesome. Uh, Justin wrote, hardly any shops have cards here anyway, so it wouldn't make a difference if places stop selling. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. no, like, I'm, inter I'm interested to see what the, the price uh, the price um, change is in here in the, the U.S. The place and the price. Yeah, the, the, the price. price change <laughs> is, is in the U.S. Now that, like, big, the biggest retailers like Target and Walmart are not selling anymore. Um, mm, Hydro says he's Asian and he's in a country close to Japan. Wow. It's very cool. Asian close to Japan. That... Uh, uh, I'm trying to look at the map. I would dare to say maybe Korea. I was saying, yeah, South Korea. South Korea. Are right? you Korean, Hydro? Is that the the right one, South Korea? Yeah, South Korea. Vietnam? Oh, I mean, maybe maybe he's from North Korea. You never know. But Try guess. So I would say Vietnam, South Korea, Indonesia. Indonesia is a lot further south, I think. Yeah, but it's so close. Um, China, Hong Kong. Mm. I don't know. I'm. You have five chances. All right, I, yeah, hold I up, think hold I up, already hold up, hold up. used them all up. Pull, pulling up a world map right now. John Wick. <laughs> world map. Oh, we love you too, Frankie. All right, world map, world map, world map. All right, so we have Japan right here. So we have Taiwan. We have Philippines. We have the Koreas right here. Okay, so, oh. All right, all right. So I'm guessing. I would say South Korea. South Korea, yeah. South Korea, first guess. Yeah. And See, like Indonesia's all the way back here. Like Philippines, oh, yeah, that's too far. Taiwan, yeah. Oh, you guys can see. Do we do we put this map up on the on the screen? No, you don't no, want to put it. No, no, you no. don't want to give the free promo to Mr. Beast ad. Oh, he's in South ah, Korea. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Where where are in South Korea? If you don't mind saying saying, are you in Seoul? I I really don't know how to pronounce it. Seoul. It's S E O U L, right? Yeah. Uh, I have no idea. In, in Spanish, is S-E-U-L, -E Seoul. 
So. Oh, it wasn't Korea. Whoa, it wasn't Korea? Oh, oh no. Dude. Oh, Wait, so maybe we mouth. so maybe we he, we said we it already. Said it. Maybe we did say Vietnam. It. Second choice. I love watching Korean. Right? The Koreans, Korean dramas are good. Bro. They have amazing Korean cinematography. Dramas Korean dramas are good. They're fire. Four chances. It's not Korea. Korea. So Vietnam. We, you want to look in Vietnam? You want to look in Vietnam? Or Hong Kong. Because we already said it. Yeah. We just don't know when we said okay, it. Okay, so Vietnam, Hong Kong. And then the last one I want to say Taiwan and Philippines. Okay. One of those. It has to be in a time zone very close to Japan too. Yeah. Because Japan is 12 hours ahead. So mm -hmm. Japan is 9 a.m. right now. Wrong. So it's not. Um, it's not Vietnam. Yeah, Vietnam. Yeah. It's not Vietnam. Could be Taiwan. Yeah, let's look in Taiwan. Are you in Taiwan, Hydro? Which of the following gym leaders did Ash defeat in the anime without a rematch? Ooh. With a rematch, I'm pretty sure it was this one. Hmm. I can't believe we still have to record. Yeah, we'll we have, have to, to go a little this. faster, Juan. Two chances left. Oof, so it's not Taiwan. <laughs> I love his, how he's like, hee hee hee. <laughs> Philippines, right? Philippines was my next guess. Either Philippines or Hong Kong, because. Okay, he's gonna give a hint. he's gonna give a hint. I knew all the ones he had to rematch. So the last one was the answer. Ooh, okay. Blobrex has that knowledge, dude. Bl Blobrex is the only one that got it right. I actually, got it right too, though. I knew it was that one. Um, Ako Tai Tagalong. Uh, Hi, Brad. So Victor can maybe like tell us. Victor is Vietnamese. Singapore. Uh, it could be Singapore. Singapore, like, yeah, Singapore is um, very easy to, meet, to miss on the map because it's so tiny. We need to record. Next, please. Okay, so he's in the Philippines. So that is Philippines. Okay, I was thinking Philippines too. I was thinking Philippines. I love how Justin is like, yeah, that's Philippines. Is it Philippines? It's not Philippines? Um, Hydro, it's not Philippines? Manila. No, man. That's a city. In the Philippines, yeah. Okay, then yeah. No, he's confirming. He said last chance. Yeah, so it has been the Philippines. We just guessed the Philippines. I said last chance. Okay, Juan. Thank you. <laughs> we said Philippines. I said last chance. Yeah, but then he said... I, oh, he said I, it's the Philippines. Yeah, okay. I recognize the city, though. Manila. Oh, that's what I'm Nakatira saying. Nakatira Akosa, Manila. Does that mean that he lives in Manila? I'm assuming, yes. That's what I'm no. saying. But but then would you put last... Maybe it's because we're on the lake. Anyway, uh, a bug is not a bug uh, type poker trainer than Pokemon Australia. It's definitely a bug type Pokemon trainer jobs. That's awesome, dude. Philippines. I actually um, have a couple of uh, Filipino friends um, growing up. I actually was in a band with a Filipino friend of mine. His name was John Angelo Raimundo. Wow. He was my drummer. Do they have... Is that the... <sighs> Sorry. The country that has... um. Like some last names in Spanish. A lot of it. A lot and, and, and a lot of uh, Filipino, uh, Fili the Filipino language um, has a lot of like Spanish influence. Yeah. Um, because of um, the Philippines were part of like they were like a territory of Spain for like a lot of years. Wow, Blob is number one. Dane number two. Fishing three. Jobs four. And Victor five. Tagalog is a uh, language, if I'm not mistaken. I actually don't know. Other, I, I couldn't tell you. I I do not know if um that it, it is. Yeah, Spanish took over the Philippines once. Yeah, the, the Philippines used to belong to Spain for a while. I think, I, I'm pretty sure, was it the U.S.? Like, when they were at war with, I don't know if it was, they were at war with Japan. And they ended up taking back the Philippines. And then they gave the Philippines their freedom or something like that. Yeah. Hmm. Something like that. Yeah. 99 Frankie. 90 Frankie. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. My dad got a printer and said I had to download something after it was loading. And when it was loading, I was messing with the tab. And my dad made me watch the TV. <laughs> said I couldn't be here. You're good. You're good, Brad. No, it's okay, Brad. But I think... Um, Magellan died in the... Difference. Yeah, I, I, that, that is correct. From from my knowledge in history, that is that is correct. Although Magellan was actually Portuguese. Isn't that the one who... That traveled around but he the didn't. world? He didn't. Like, out of his ship, he took, I think it was a fleet of three ships or four ships or something like that. Uh -huh. And only one ship made it back with five people. Oh. The thing that he he was the captain that it, sailed wait, that. Wait, what's the first name? Um, something Magell. Uh, yes. Um, Ferdinand? No. Uh, maybe could be. No. Fernando Magallan. Yeah, could be, could be that. Let's see. <laughs> Why do things bother you? Because I wouldn't know. 
Ferdinando. Oh man, what yeah. an excellent in, memory in, I yeah, have. In, in Spanish, it's Fernando Magallanes. So yeah, yeah, Ferdinand, yeah. Wow. Fernando Magallanes. But he was actually Portuguese. To my knowledge, he's Portuguese. He wasn't Spanish. Um, yeah, Ferdinand. Uh, pretty sure, pretty sure he was Portuguese. But yeah, funny story. Like he's recognized as being the first person to sail around the, around the world. Mm -hmm. But he actually didn't make it to the end. He he died. Um, only, oh, he died. Yeah, he died in the Philippines. He he had he had like a very severe fever or something like that. Uh, that a lot of his crewmates contracted, and he ended up passing away in the Philippines. Um, only five people ended up making it back. Something like that. Like a very like but out of like. He wasn't the main. He was, he was the, the captain. captain. He was the captain, and that's why he's the one given credit for it because it was his expedition, the one that mm. made it back. But he he didn't make it back. Wow, that's so sad. <laughs> yeah, they're here answering Pokemon questions and we're talking about history. Hey, dude, that's just how, how the nights go here, man. The night, the nights of game night is uh, everything but Pokemon while well, we have Pokemon in the background. And what year was Ferdinand Magellan? Like, in the 15, 1600s? I want to say around that because time. Because it was... And Christopher Columbus was, was in the 1492. And... So definitely yeah. after the 1500s. I want to say closer to 1600s. Yeah. 16, 16, maybe 16, pushing 17. Can you look that up? <laughs> I thought I'm the one that that's restless with stuff. Which of the following Pokemon is an option player character in the Rescue Team DX? Psyduck. I always tell my students that if they don't know anything, to always look it up on the internet. Yeah, I always find the answers. Yep. Victor, by the way, I'm sorry with disrespecting your quiz, Victor. It's just you know, it's, it's no. I mean, we're 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 playing it, yo. Uh, Magellan. 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 Yeah. So he lived from no, 1500s. Yeah, so 1500s. Who's wow, he, he only died. At, he died at 41. See, he died in, he died in the Philippines. Yeah, Portuguese. So it was in the early 1500s. So right around 1500 then. Yeah. Wow, he's only married for four years. Because he died at 41. Yeah, he, he died of a of wow. a sickness in in his trip in the voyage. Yikes! I thought sigh, sigh, a sleep sigh. In history class. So I'm not really good at history. <laughs> I actually find it super interesting. Like, I, I love that. Like, I, I love learning about all of that. Yeah, I mean, I used to love history, and I remember I wanted to be a history and math teacher, and I'm neither. They're not I'm even science. Really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just really good at history. Look at that, bro. Now we have 17 peepers here in the stream, and we're about to yeah, end. Bro. Where were you guys at an hour ago? What is this? I always drew in history call class. It was hard to focus in it. Really? Oh, so Blob draws. Oh, it's pretty cool. Are you good? Are you good, Blob? I, 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 it's not that I hate drawing. I would love to draw. I just can't. I can't draw for. I can't draw to save my life. Oh, Justin loved science in school. Ooh, not touches the science teacher, so you guys get along. Well, now I have another position. Ooh, yeah, she does. She got almost like a promotion type of thing. Like she, she applied for a different position. You never know both. unless you ask, everybody. That's how it is. You have to always ask because then you know. I mean, the worst that they could say is no. Yeah. And I asked in, back in January, and they're going to give it to me for uh, next academic year. So I am super excited. I'm going to be teaching the students whose language was uh, or is not. It's not English. Yeah, for yeah. sure, it's not English. By the way, guys, if you guys are new to the stream, please make sure to leave a like on the stream. It really does help out the channel quite a bit. If you guys want to play for the rest of this quiz, we got 10 questions left. Make sure to join in by putting in Discord into the Google app right here. I highlighted it for you guys on the bottom of the screen. Um, and also, if you guys haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe to the channel so you guys can enter a giveaway of a booster or ATB, not a booster box, <laughs> of uh, Battle Styles. The last price of the night is this beautiful Japanese Calyrex Ice Rider V Max, guys. So make sure to, to hop into the quiz, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Because we do this on a weekly basis. Well, we might be changing it up. We might be changing it up. Yep. Blob says that he's okay at drawing. Okay. I'm sure you are a lot better than what you're saying, Blob. You're just being Yeah, that's modest. what everybody everybody that draws says that. It's like, what was you going to say? Like, I'm amazing, guys. <laughs> uh, Hydra says that he's interested in science and math. Yeah. And that he likes making blueprints of uh, houses. That so, is super cool. So, Hydra, if, if you do um, enjoy that and you eventually want to become um, either a carpenter or some sort of civil industrial engineer, I would really, really recommend to start studying up or maybe working with a system called AutoCAD. It's a software called... Auto A U T O CAD C A D and it's pretty much used for all that for blueprints. I remember that in high school I had to make like a three floor house really? uh, on AutoCAD. I had to make a design for that on AutoCAD. And that's actually a lot of what I'm doing now, Hydro. What we're gonna be doing now. Um I'm gonna be not making like um houses blueprints, but I'm gonna be pretty much designing like 
um, sprinklers and water lines and whatnot for irrigation systems. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, usually I like to draw random creatures I make up. So Hydra's asking Blobrex if he makes fan-made Pokemon. That is Ooh. super cool. Do you do you make a uh, fake mon? To be honest, that's the most difficult drawing to kind of like make them up on your own. Because yeah. for me, like I know how to draw, but if I see something next to it, you know, I yeah. can't come up like, with something. Probably, yeah. I mean, he said that he made a, a grass type uh, or a plant type Blastoise. Well, that was Hydro. So, hydro. Oh, Hydro. And yeah. then they called it Blastoise. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Still second year high school, so we um uh, we don't know what will happen. Hey man, uh, I knew that I wanted to be an engineer since I was a little boy watching Fernando Alonso race on the track in Formula One. So it's whatever you have a passion for, man. If you have a passion for making blueprints and designing houses, then architecture or civil engineering is probably the way to go. Yeah. Double points. Which of the following cards is banned in TCG standard format? Ooh. All right, I challenge you to Scriblio. That would That's be one. so much fun. Hmm. I'm down. I'm down for Scrib. Not tonight. We still need to record after this. It's gonna be like 10 p.m. <laughs> Justin's like, I have no idea what I want to do. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I, you know, I kind of question it too, but. Bro, right, like it's not easy, man. Like people think being an adult is easy. Being, an, I, I, I'm not even an adult yet, and I've been an adult yeah. for the past five years. I think that only a very, like the very few, can choose what they want to be when they grow up. Yeah. You know. Like I mean, hard. everybody, everybody has a dream job. Like, like for me, growing up, I wanted to be a Formula One engineer. Then I switched to wanted to work in space. Now I'm working in agricultural engineer, like environmental engineering. But that's what it presented. You yeah, know? no, and, and it's something that I'm really thankful for. And it's one of those things where, like, you know, like. I think I'm going to really enjoy this, but at the same time, you know, like, if I could be a full-time YouTuber, I would be a full-time YouTuber. <laughs> don't like, say, hopefully they don't, They like... don't watch the channel? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, no, that they don't, like, scroll to this mm, minute. To this minute, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 that no, would like, No, but it's one of those things where, like, like if, if YouTube was paying, like, a million dollars just for, like, making videos sitting down in my house, like, who, yeah, who wouldn't want to do crazy. that, you get me? Like, Yeah, that would be crazy. Um, uh, let's see... Bob says, I did make fake mons before, but only for a bit. I like to recolor shiny sprites now. Ooh, do it. And send them to Pokemon to see if they can fix a lot of the crappy shiny sprites that we have now. That is super cool. Yeah. I have to say. Um, and then the Misty Full Art one, I don't know, was banned in the English version of the card game. It's kind of dirty. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the, the naked Misty. Is it Misty's yeah. Tears or something like that? But he said Full Art, though. It's not a Full Art. Is, uh, I don't, uh, so maybe it's a different one? But yeah, there's a Misty yeah, Tears. Yeah, Natasha that's... actually has two copies of the Japanese one. Yeah. Of the Mrs. Tears. Uh, Brad also said, what would a fairy or ghost poly world be named? Mm. Mm. Maybe it could still be called poly world. It would be like like the new region poly world. And yeah. instead of being like the normal world, it, it would be purple or uh, black because of the ghost type. And it would be like a black hole spinning inside of his belly. Whoa, that would be yeah, cool. Would be pretty cool, right? Pretty cool, right? Um, Hydra, what would you think a fairy ghost poly world would look like or be named? Or Blob Rex, what would you like a shiny poly world uh, you make look like? Hey guys, you guys have to send your drawings to Brad so Brad can be like, you know what? I like this. <laughs> the detective agency in the 3DS game Detective Pikachu references what place in Sherlock Holmes stories? Ooh, Ooh. I like this question. I actually, I didn't even know there was a Detective Pikachu video game. Bro, Victor is so awesome. Yeah, Victor knows his stuff. Victor's a great guy, man. It's kind of funny that I didn't make a, a quiz today. Like, I didn't actually like, write a quiz today because I was going to make it on this type of stuff. Really? Because M and JTV made a video about it and um, Tyranitar 2 made a video of like all the spin-off games. So I was going to make a quiz based on the spin-off games. Oh. It's kind of crazy. And so Victor you and Victor did it. were like No, Victor sync. did this a week ago. So Victor did it before they even uploaded the videos. Like, Victor was already set for it. Wow. Wow, that's pretty Fan, awesome. better art um, at making DB Custom Universe, DBS Makers. Well, time to take that down and take the idea. Literally, I, I hate that, dude. And you know who does that a lot, too? Nintendo. Nintendo, like, the company does that a lot, too. Like, they really? love to, like, whenever people make, like, their own stuff or whatever that's, like, Nintendo-related, uh -huh. they love to just take it down. Copyright it. Wow. Nintendo loves to throw in copyright strikes. I'm sure your mom right now and my mom are like, they're still streaming. They need... No, my mom is not even picking up. My mom's watching Miss Universe right now. No, I know, but <laughs> but like that they're still like just the checking paranoid. up on us. Yeah. Victor is goaded. Yeah, he is, yeah, man. Yeah, Victor is legit, dude. Victor is a real deal, man. Yeah. I, I th I'm starting I'm starting to think that I should let him play jungle. What do you guys think about that? And then no, I, should play, I thought I should when he said, when Victor said 
that Claire could play jungler. I thought that he was trying to flirt with her, like, because maybe she like, could oh, be she's wild. wild. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get... I was get... like, no, bro. He's trying to roast me because I'm bad. I didn't get the League reference. <laughs> the game Pokemon Quest is a crossover between Pokemon and which franchise? I was like, wow, Victor, he's being so forward. <laughs> <laughs> Big just like bruh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Bro, he's like wow. <laughs> and honestly, like I didn't say anything, but it, it like took like it caught me off guard. Like poor because... Blair. Oh Claire rather. Blair. <laughs> <laughs> uh I, I was thinking of blast toys. I don't know why I was thinking of the blast toys that was a grass type. <laughs> also Hydra, maybe make a polyworld of every type. Wow, yeah, yeah. <laughs> make Hydra draw a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I think Brad would be a great uh, boss one day. He would be able to tell people what they need to do. All right, let's see, let's see. Blobrex says, black and white poly world. Uh, shiny poly way <laughs> would be black and white too. Then poly wrath would be, or would be black and white and red. And then he says, wow, I made a lot of spelling mistakes. Ah, <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> that was a funny sequence, Blobrex. That was a good sequence of events. That's funny. Oh, Victor got it. And he passed jumps. Yeah, jumps. Wow. Cry. Lawbrex is securing the dub right now. Dane is not even talking in the chat because Dane is hyper-focused. Yeah, Dane is like, nah, focused. I need to get a second win of the night. Yeah. My phone is going to die. It is? Why? Yeah, it has like 20 Like, not even. I have like 10% battery. Oh, yeah, you're 13%. fine. 13%. You're so melodramatic. It's going to die. I was just rechecking something. I was hopeful. I was like, oh, okay. What? Like, of the count. Anyway, never mind. Oi, Nachacha. I'm being weird. Leave me alone. Nachacha's being strange. Yes, I am. Oh, but yeah, almost we are done, almost guys. done. Almost done. What is the title of Song Katy Perry will release? Yeah, it got released on Friday. Have you guys seen the music video? Yeah, Juan didn't like the music video. What about you guys? Did you like I it? I found it kind of pointless. I loved I her know. dress, though. I found the music video kind loved of pointless. I loved her 70s style dress. The creator of Pokemon, Satoshi Tajiri, has uh, stated which of the following Pokemon is his favorite. Why did you say Tajiri? It's Tajiri. Satoshi. I said Tajiri. It's Satoshi Tajiri, isn't it? Not Tajiri. Tajiri Satoshi. <laughs> Whatever, man. Anyway, um, what was I think? Like, like, do you guys think it makes sense for Pokemon as a company to do that? Like the whole Post Malone and Katy Perry things. I feel like everybody knows. Everybody in the world knows Pokemon, but not everybody in the world knows Katy Perry and um, Post Malone type of thing. Or I feel like like Pokemon's a lot more famous than um, Katy Perry and Post Malone. So if anything is like boosting out um, Post Malone and Katy Perry more than it is boosting out Pokemon, right? Like Pokemon fans will go out of their way to watch. Um, Post Malone and the Carrie Perry things because it's Pokemon related. But I don't think that Post Malone and Carrie Perry fans will go out of their way to check out Pokemon. After you don't Steam think songs. so? Nah. Hmm. So the blue of all the polies will be black. And then for Poliwrath would have red hands like boxing gloves. Ooh, that would be pretty cool. Like, uh, would, would it be like a dark type? <laughs> How about Politoed? <laughs> and I was just talking about Poliwag and got it wrong. <laughs> That's funny. Which of the following fast food chains has not had a promotional merchandise? So... This one has. Oh, Jack in the Box is the only one really that hasn't interacted with with Pokemon. It's kind of crazy. All, All right. right. Last. I guess is the last real question. I don't know. I don't know. This one has twenty two, not twenty one. So. All right. Question twenty. Double points. Which of the following Pokemon themed locations does not appear as a stage in Super Smash Bros. Brawl? Hmm. Pretty sure this one does. Pretty sure this one does. I don't think this one does. <laughs> Why are you laughing, woman? Your tummy is making noises. I'm hungry. No. <laughs> Bro, just to just to show you guys how much of an animal I am when it comes to eating. Today I've had chicken tenders, fries, broccoli. Spinach deep. Deep. De de <laughs> <laughs> spinach deep. Spinach dip. Chicken tenders. Spinach uh, dip. <laughs> chicken tenders. Um. Uh, Fries, broccoli, ribs, sirloin steak, and a slice of pizza. Yeah, you're crazy. You are crazy. Another double points. 
What real world Japanese setting was the inspiration of the Sinnoh region? Oof, Sinnoh region, my bad. It's this one. I know because I studied it. You studied it? Yeah. What do you mean? Because I need to prepare myself for Legends of Arceus. Oh. By the way, after the stream, we're not going to record. We're we'll, not? We'll, we'll record tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah. And we need to sleep. To sleep? I'm not tired. Well, you have to. I'm, I'm going to punch you. I should have bought melatonin pills to help me no, sleep. No, you don't need any of that. Polytoto would be orange where the green is and green where the yellow is. I love how Blobbrex is still number one and he is still <laughs> He's, still, he's the one that's like participating the most in the chat. Yeah. It is Hokkaido. And the Ooh. last question of the night. Last question of the night, my peepers. I think Blobrix has mathematically won this Surprise! one. Surprise! So. 22 questions. Thanks for playing. Which of the following <laughs> should you do? Ooh. Subscribe. Follow. Ooh. All of the above. <laughs> It's like, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, oh, and Victor on Instagram. Look at yeah. that. Follow Victor on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. Both of us on Twitter. And all the buff guys, come on! If you guys haven't checked out Victor That's yet, so you guys, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. Guys. Victor is so cute. Follow Victor on Twitter. Follow Victor on IG. Victor's a freaking baller. I, I should have mentioned to Claire, like, oh look, look what Victor, Victor thinks said. he's a, a wild uh, juggler. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but definitely, guys, make sure to check out Victor, guys. Victor is freaking amazing. Yeah, he is uh, we awesome. We really do appreciate Victor. Um, we're just waiting for Victor to become a content creator now. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Ooh. And he could definitely do it. Victor is gonna show us how to climb all the way to Challenger in League of Legends. Alrighty, Blob! Woo! Blob breaks us the dub in his first game back in a while. Once you get it, you never lose it. Yeah. Alright, Blob breaks. do you want the card, my good friend? I think it's a pretty cool card, though. I think you might want this card. It's a pretty nice card. Look at it. It's Japanese and Yeah, everything. we will send it to you, Blob. I know that Blob doesn't play a TCG, but you know, like, it's a pretty cool card. Okay, let me post on Insta. GG's, my friends. And the 42%. Dane, congrats. Dane did an amazing job, too. You guys did well, man. You guys did well. Blob has an Insta. All right, my peepers. Uh, Blob, what, what do you want to do with it, my friend? My good friend. Dane, congrats on winning. This is a good card. I can't wait to get it in English. Yeah, man. I can't. I think I think that both of the Calyrex are going to be really, really good in the TCG. Can I give it to Dane? Well, Dane has already won for the night, so he can't win a prize oh, twice. Is always so, nice. so if anything, it would trickle down to, I think, Victor. But I think it would be unfair for Victor to win. Because this was Who, his quiz. Yeah, because it was his quiz. So he finished fourth. Do you have a video of it coming up? Who finished fourth? Oh, no. You I sure? Yeah, you do. I didn't record all the way, though. Hold up, try it again. I, I didn't record all the way. Go to your... But why don't you want it, Blob? You deserve it, man. You deserve it. Yeah, you did. You hear? I did? I'm pretty sure you did. Did I? You want to look at it? Oh, <laughs> you literally cut off right when they come up. <laughs> wow. Get feedback. Yeah. Be full report. Can I be... Uh, back to yeah, podium. Back to, to podium. Back to podium. Dane says that. give it to Victor. Yeah, Victor made the quiz. So Victor can't win. Wait, but he hasn't won and he made the quiz, so we should give it to him, maybe. But he made the quiz. Yeah, meaning that... So it's unfair no. for him to finish third. No, because he actually did the... actually made the quiz. So as a thank you. And the first was fishing for Pokemon. Because Blob doesn't want it. No, 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 we're gonna give it to Victor! Okay, Victor, get, Victor you're getting a free card, Victor. No, it's not for free. For finishing third on your own quiz. No, it's not free. He made us the quiz. Fishing, blame Natasha for stealing your price away and giving it to Blob Victor. Rex, are you, <laughs> Blob, wait, wait, Blob, don't leave. When is your birthday? Are you a Capricorn or a Pisces? You're one or the other. Watch him be neither. Aye, aye. I need to know this because he's always giving. <laughs> this isn't my prize. Yes, Victor, yes. Uh. So, Blob, Blob, what are you? When's your birthday? I can't believe this is something we're discussing right now. We're supposed to have this stream and record. Yeah. This is not my price. Oh my goodness, I was right! <laughs> Rest in peace your ears, guys. I just saw the freaking volume meter go all the way to the reds. That's crazy! I knew it! You see? Anyway, uh, my peeps, <laughs> uh, Victor, Mario, and I will discuss the, the dealings of the price later. Can't believe the Pokeballers support animal abuse and bullying. <laughs> I got it right because Capricorn right. men are the most giving men. I have to say, I knew it. You were either that is insane. I I should be like the next uh, 
like psychic uh, reading person thing. Mabobber. Anyways, <laughs> uh, my peeps, uh, everybody, have a good night. We really do love you guys. Thank you so much, so much for tuning in to the stream. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, follow us everywhere if you guys haven't done so yet. And with that said, oh, wait, Dana's up. like, so wait, who's getting the? <laughs> <laughs> I I think I think it's gonna be Victor. Victor, because Blob doesn't want it. Yeah, and then you already got one, so it'll be unfair for you to get two in one night. So we'll give it to Victor. Yeah, as a it's gonna thank go to Victor. For, as a thank for you for making the quiz. Yes. Uh, Ninety nine, Justin. But good night, guys. Uh, Bye, Blob. Face opening on Wednesday. Make sure to stay in for that. And with that said, we'll go out. Peace. <laughs>